Hello, hello. How's uh, everyone today? Hello, D Luke. Hello, Nilu. And Cass. Thank you, everyone else. <laughs> Ready for the TCG match? This guy completely destroyed me, and it's the one offering the rematch. <laughs> I built like four new decks this morning, and I didn't test a single one of them out. I just kind of thought, hey, this, this sounds like it might be good. And I threw a bunch of random stuff together. But yeah, we'll be doing TCG uh, probably in a bit. I do want to do wishes. I wanted to speed run a quest or two. <laughs> I'm way behind. <clears throat> Uh, no, I just started. I haven't wished yet. I mean, I did a, uh, I did a Tem pool the other day off stream. And that's how I got her. I haven't spent my, uh, Lantern Rite freebie yet. Oh, man. It'll be a long day of Genshin. <clears throat> <laughs> Thank you, Bones. <laughs> Can I do a damage showcase of of Yao Yao? Of what character? My Yao Yao is currently completely cracked because I just I took a Shao's entire setup and I just threw it on her. So yeah, she's pretty cracked right now. I imagine Nilu will be back. Well, maybe soon. <laughs> I guess you never know. It could be like another. Uh, uh, who was it that didn't show up for a super long time? Wasn't it Shao or Albedo or something? It took forever. On round two. Yeah, this will be the second time we'll have ever played Cass. I also still have the list from last time, so if anyone is anyone happens to be here who didn't get to play last time, who was on the list, I can just go through it really quick when we do uh, TCG and see if any of them are here. I'll be doing wishes soon. I just want to get through my uh, dailies. I haven't been on this account yet today. <clears throat> I spent like two hours this morning just getting level 10 on my other account in uh, TCG and building those random decks. I think we'll do good, but uh, I guess we will find out. Oh man, is instinctively going to Mondstadt. 
because I had uh, put my commissions in Mondstadt for like another week prior to this. Uh, turn up game volume or which volume do you mean? Okay, let me move closer to my microphone. <laughs> Maybe that'll help. Really? Is she still locked on? Okay, yeah. Uh, Bloom without Nahida is definitely worse, for sure. You can still get some mileage off it with uh, Dentro Traveler and Kale. But, uh... Nahida definitely makes it shine. Going the right way, correct? Yeah. <clears throat> oh, <laughs> stay away from my Twitter in a few days then. <laughs> uh oh, is she gonna make it? Okay, yeah. <laughs> Just barely. I have a, uh, I guess you'll see it right now. Um, once I finish my commissions, it should be completely maxed out, the the uh, the map icons, to where no more can fit on the screen. I was going to post that on my Twitter tomorrow or something, but I can show it right now. Okay, we need a character that has this, but for picking up items that enemies drop. That character is going to sell whenever they release it. If they ever release it. <clears throat> yeah, like I said, my uh, Yao Yao is currently using the same equipment my uh, Xiao usually does. So... She's basically got like 93% crit rate and almost 200% crit damage. Are you here to you play, play with me? Yeah. The more, the... <clears throat> the here. CU1 Shao gives you an extra use of his skill. Which by itself is, you know, okay, but utility-wise, it's amazing. For, like, uh, exploration and stuff, especially out of bounds. I don't think it's going to get me anywhere new. Like, it's only, like, two places new it could get me. And they were limited time areas. But, um, it'll future-proof me and also make it so much more easy to travel out of bounds. I'll be able to glide farther, and uh, stamina regeneration while climbing will be much quicker. There you go. See? The uh, notifications, they're getting clipped. No more can fit on the screen. I know there was somebody in here um, a few streams ago who was getting really triggered by that. <laughs> Uh, 
unlock the. the <laughs> what? No mention of a uh, dragon spine. What about dragon spine? Also, when I get to it, because I'm gonna probably be doing some of it today, I'm probably not gonna light up this area either. Yeah, the old honor. Thank you for completing today's. Okay, so that's commissions. What else do I need to do? Uh. Why don't I have the map? I don't know. It's funny. <laughs> I always get reactions whenever people see it, whether they join my world, like friends join my world, they always ask and I always find it funny. Okay, um... I guess I could do wishes now. Gotta go to a lucky spot. We're gonna stand right next to him. <laughs> Wait, actually. Okay. I mean, I'm on guaranteed, so I imagine he'll show up within 40 wishes max, but uh, we'll see how this goes. And then maybe, maybe I'll do some Alhatham wishes just to build pity back up. But we'll see. <clears throat> Yeah, I'm at, um, I'm pretty sure I'm at 32 wishes on Guaranteed, so, uh, oh no, I love Al Haytham, he's such a cool character, it's just his, his play style is kind of too kutching, however, um, he does go, um, farther than kutching when he teleports, so he does have that going for him. It's just his cooldown for it sucks. Isn't it like 18 seconds or something absurd? <clears throat> How is he Dendro Child? He literally has Kuching's burst, basically, and Kuching's <laughs> skill. I guess we see it different. You guys are probably seeing it like damage wise. I see it through utility and how they play in terms of what their abilities can do. <clears throat> I see he can teleport like Kuching and I see he can make a field with a bunch of sword slashes all over the place like Kuching does when she uses her burst. Uh, yep. <clears throat> Give me Eugene and Yao Yao. Nope. At least give me Widsith if I'm gonna get a weapon. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> triggered the out hate <laughs> I, I, I'm sorry. I see Kuching and I'll always see Kuching, not Child. I mean, I guess I don't have Child. I've never really played as him. So, okay, that's a C1 Yao yeah, Yao. Yeah. I get a C2 in the same wish, please. <laughs> Thank you, Psychic. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not going to argue with you. If you see... Oh, okay, that's rare. Off-banner off character. If you see a child, then he's child to you. I see teleport and I see spammy burst. Okay. Okay, that's good. Better Kale than Summoner of C6. Escape the curse. Uh, no, nah, he, I uh, shall will be here soon. Maybe next two batches of wishes because I'm already at what this will take me to 62. That Woodsif? Yes! Okay, if I'm gonna get weapons, that's what I want. Hmm, not much luck on the characters. Oh, wow, I'm going all the way, I guess, to 90. <laughs> ah! It, it hurts. This is making me not want to build pity on Alhathan's banner. <laughs> what? What is this terrible luck? That's two off banner characters. Yikes. Uh oh. Alright, this should be Shao, right? Yep, there he is. Ooh, okay, that's good. That's good. Can I get like three more of those in the same wish? Please? Okay, that's two. One more. One more. Okay, well, alright. One more, please. <laughs> Uh, C3, I think. Yes, so that's C3. C4 if I use the freebie. Okay, uh... Do a few more, I think, and I'll hate them. If I get him, cool. If I don't, also cool. <clears throat> yes! One more, please. Also, Yunjin hasn't showed up once. Mm. 
That's four, five, I use that. One more, come on. Give me access to the mega radishes. Yes! <laughs> can I get one more so that I can spend my invite on Eugene? Okay, so... That should take... I've been at multiples of two... So I'll do eight single wishes, and then I'm going to call it, I think. That will round, should round it out for another guaranteed four star. <laughs> Me a whale? No. <laughs> I just don't ever pull. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Eugene. Okay, I'm okay with that. Uh, I think I should probably stop. I wasn't even keeping count. I think I'm at like 36 wishes in. Something like that. But yeah, I think I should stop here. I don't need to keep going now, that's the thing. <laughs> I mean, C6 Yunjin would be awesome, but... I don't think I need her at this moment. Plus, she's still level 1. <clears throat> yeah, I I'm gonna stop. Um... However, however... I probably will be doing wishes on my other account when I switch to my TCG account because I would like to have um, Yunjin and Yao Yao for future Wind Trace characters. Thank you, Xiao, for your luck. Say goodbye to two skill uses. Yeah, this is my main account. I keep my main account private, but I have a public facing account that I do for playing TCG with people and uh, playing mini games like Wintrace. <clears throat> yes! Actually, I want to test how much uh, stamina I can get from that. Let me burn some of it. Okay. Oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> that's beautiful. That was like, what, a fifth of the bar almost? I'm sure I could get it to be better, too. Sometimes I notice it vary, depending how you space them out. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, that's this is one of the main reasons I want it. Um, also, this is why I see uh, <laughs> I'll hate them as coaching because I spend like 80% of my time on this game just breaking it and going out of bounds. And coaching can already teleport, so I don't need a teleporter. But like I said, he can go farther than coaching. Um, he actually goes quite a bit farther, and that's really good, actually. I thought about getting him just for that because. There's certain areas where you can't use Wind Catcher, and that would totally make up for it. Um, I actually have a question for you guys. Um, does anyone here have the combination of 
Scaremooch or Wanderer? Uh, Wanderer and Alhatham. Does anyone here have both of them? I have a question for you if you do. Alright, Vera. Uh, Vera and Kiwi. Do you happen to know who goes farther? Um, Wanderer using his skill to go straight up? Or Alhatham aiming his skill straight up and teleporting? I'm curious of which one goes higher into the air. I would think it's the Wanderer, but Alhatham actually goes quite a bit farther than Kuching does, so I'm kind of like, hmm. <clears throat> and I, uh, just to clarify, this would be Wanderer without Hydro Infusion, because getting Hydro Infusion to make it go slightly farther isn't usually practical in most situations. I mean, I guess you could carry Barbara around, but... If somebody wants to test it, I'd be interested in knowing. Alhatham has the same aim aiming range as Kuching. If you hold the button, let it go, hold it, makes him go even higher. Interesting. He's, uh, Wanderer is someone I was looking at maybe getting in the future. Um, Wanderer goes higher. If somebody who has both wants to test, I'd be very appreciative of it. <clears throat> okay, I guess. I should, uh... Oh, I'm too lazy to spend resin. <clears throat> They're the same? That's interesting. ECG soon cast. I do want to get knock out some quests today. Oh, uh, I almost forgot. C6, yeah, yeah. I have not done second blooming yet, so no, I haven't gotten it yet. I also would like a C6 Yenfei, but she's avoided me for so long. I got her to C3 on um Wanderer's Banner, actually, I think it was. Okay, uh... So this thing should throw big radishes now, right? What do these look like? <laughs> That's cool. <clears throat> the shame you had to go C6 just to get that perk. Okay, uh... Questing for a little bit, and then we'll do some TCG. I need to speedrun Aranyaka. Um, did I already do... No, I did not do this one. 
Actually, I don't need this team. I'm fine. Let me get a faster team out. Uh, like this team. <laughs> Tell me about it. At least I know what I'm doing now because I went through it on Traveler's on. Uh, did you, where is... Did I even remove his flower? I did not. I also did not remove that. Nor did I remove these. Is that right? Yes, that's right, I think. Uh, weapon. <laughs> Look how cracked that is. <laughs> Almost 100% crit rate and 220% crit damage. I will try not to get distracted <laughs> and go out of bounds. Uh, oh, you know, a Dendro character could really help, probably. But we have this now, so. Go kill something? I'm about to be beating up, um, what's her name? Uh... Lunja. Useless. <clears throat> I forgot how to climb. <laughs> Whenever I do like um long climbs without Shao on my party, I feel I feel the same way. I'm always like, oh, I'm running out of stamina because I don't have the infinite stamina recharge, nor do I have um the twenty percent reduction. Oh. I guess I do need a Dendro character. Um, all right, Klee, you're being swapped out for probably you're the best. Am I going the right way? Okay, yeah, that's the random event back there. You didn't like Aranyaka? I thought it was the best quest in the game. just this particular part. Am I excited for any character? Um, not really any that I know of that are coming up. Um, from what we've seen of Mika via leaks, he looks really cool, but I'll probably end up waiting to pull. <laughs> Been pretty good, can't complain. <laughs> the is so bad. <laughs> I haven't been really. I don't often keep up with like the uh, 
how well a character like can like do damage and stuff unless it's a character I'm interested in. The only thing I was looking for with the uh, was like is she like a consistent potential off the old pyro applicator, which I keep hearing conflicting things about, and I'm not really sure which it is. <clears throat> Do I play Kirby games? Used to. I haven't played one in a long time. Played all the originals, like, uh, Superstar, uh, Dreamland 3, Kirby's Dream Course. games I break besides Genshin, mostly just Genshin. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna waste time to do it again. If you watch Traveler Sign you've already seen that you can make this mushroom disappear before this cutscene. And if you haven't watched Traveler Sign, we'll get on that. Uh Is it busted? I think it's busted, isn't it? It looks busted. It's busted. I have, uh... I think I'm near the end of Fire Emblem. I'm on chapter 25. And I will not talk about the story. Just in case there's people in here playing it, I don't want to spoil things. It's been fun. Um, I have a lot of problems with the writing of the game. I think they really cheaped out on the writing. But uh, other than that, it's still your standard Fire Emblem. The, the battles are really fun. Chapter 5. <laughs> um, as with always, though, um, with these leaks on these characters, always just wait until it's actually released. There's Tends to be a lot of Doom posting about characters all the time. Kokomi being the prime example. Look at Kokomi's placement in like the 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 tier list now, and yeah, someone might get their hands on D Hill once she's officially released and be like, "Oh, well, did you know you could do this?" And everyone's be like, "What?" And they'll be like, "Boom, D up." probably like top five characters in the game or something absurd not saying it will happen but uh wait am i missing one? Oh my god i forgot to get one but it tends to be after a character releases the general consensus is their usefulness goes up i guess because more people have had time to experiment with the character
And also, I'll always be a staunch defender of if you like the character, just pull for them. This game is not difficult. <laughs> you don't need the insanely broken characters. Like, I'm pretty sure there's guides out there that can beat anything in this game just using, like, launch four stars. And not just beat it, but, like, it's, like, convincingly beat it. <laughs> Let's dance. Oh, here it is. Barbara ain't afraid of no traps. <laughs> oh, <it's> <laughs> oh, I love this character. Also, it never made sense to me that you can, uh, you can evade explosions if you dodge at the right time, or if you sprint at the right time. <clears throat> go, Barbara, go! Okay, um, I had to make sure I picked the right things. Last time on Traveler Hassan, I got the option that didn't lead to a fight. I want to fight him this time. <clears throat> Wait, what? What's a broken record? Oh, leaks are fun for the drum. <laughs> Yeah, uh, Renana, that's basically how you should play the game, in my opinion. If you don't like the character for whatever reason, don't play them and only play the ones you like. Until they start releasing, like, actually super difficult content that you need, like, optimized teams for, meta doesn't really mean much, in my opinion. Yep, got yeah, death match. Uh, it's battle pass. Here. <clears throat> yeah, the best four star in the game is the one you like the most. Uh, how it is, it differs between people. I think the best four star is Barbara, and I know my opinion is like 
the lowest of the low. <laughs> like nobody, hardly anyone will agree with me on that point. But I will stand by and defend it. Worthless. Hello, Rain. Welcome to the stream. Uh, does Freeze Bloom Barbara, is that like... I'm assuming that probably uses Ayaka. One of these days, maybe I should just like watch some meta game videos just to see like some of the characters I don't play as because I don't have... I never played as Eula. I've never played as... um. But outside, obviously, outside of their, like, trial domains and stuff. Um, Eula, Ayaka. Although, what little I've seen of Ayaka. No, thank you. Cannot stand alternate sprints. Uh. Oh, is this the one you can cheat? I'm getting distracted. You guys have to you guys have to stop me if I get distracted. <laughs> or we'll be here all day. Okay, this isn't the you could cheat this one, but not as easily as the other one. Opinions on Kaya from the person named Never One Kaya Hater. <laughs> I like Kaya a lot. Um, I started this game playing mostly Amber, and then I slowly switched over to Kaya, and then when Klee was released, I kind of just played Klee until Shao was released. But uh, I think Kaya is very solid. Whenever I start a new like account or whatever. I literally just play Kaya. I almost never switch off of him. I I think he's the best free character out of Lisa, Amber, and himself. I think he's the best out of that bunch. Yes, that too. The the stamina reduction when sprinting is amazing. Oh, that's right. I've already been in here. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. Well, that's what this is already solved. I forgot. <laughs> Wait, isn't there one of those runes down there, though? If I remember correctly, there's... Really? Am I stuck? That was weird. Burning teams are fun, Cass. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I tested uh, Nahida and Klee, and I threw not, like every elemental mastery artifact I had on Klee just to see what would happen. It was pretty interesting. Uh, okay, I feel like there's more in here. Or am I misremembering? Oh.
Thank you, Stella. I actually already pulled on Xiao. Uh, I already got him C1. I also got a C6 Yao Yao out of it. So that's cool. Uh... Okay, maybe it's the next area. I could have sworn it was down here, though. Where'd we go? I gonna get beat up during a cutscene. Oh, they left. Wow, they actually thought of that one. <laughs> Wait. Oh no, no, never mind. I take it back. <laughs> Go on, attack. They're so peaceful. This is odd. They're going to immediately attack, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, they're just looking at me, but they attack Traveler Son. <laughs> uh, I don't need to fight these guys. I think this is the one you can cheat. Come on. <laughs> I can do this. <laughs> Traveler Son did it. <clears throat> See how easily I get distracted playing this game? There we go. I can also break into this area, but he's gonna make the vines go away. So I guess it doesn't matter. There's a there's an open spot on these vines that you can climb through. I don't think I'll be able to get to it though. It's gonna trigger the cutscene, isn't it? Oh wait. Like right here. I mean, I, it's not gonna matter. I can't progress the, the quest without doing this. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. There we go. See? Just like that. I'm gonna go back up though. Otherwise I'll just teleport out of here. <clears throat> yes I am. By a quest I have already thoroughly broke. <laughs> There's no way we can get in. But we totally just did. I've already been down there too. It is half the fun, you're right. Thank you, D Luke, for the uh the milk money.
Yeah, you're probably noticing that there's like no... There's not many of uh, Dendraculus and stuff, because they've already been in these places. There might be one over here, though. I don't think I went above this room on this account. I think that was only on Traveler's Son. I just brute force to try. I have a general feel for how this game's designed after doing this stuff for so long, so I know where to look generally right off the bat. I can't really explain to you how that is. It's just one of those things where you do something for so long, you kind of just subconsciously know what to do or where to look. I thought these guys would follow me again, but they didn't. Uh, <laughs> you guys will get behind that barrier super easily, but uh, let's do it the normal way. I think isn't it the Sealy that opened the barrier? Is that right? <clears throat> <laughs> I don't think my uh, obsession with it's that bad yet. Vans. <laughs> oh yeah, these are already activated. I've already been down here. Uh... I kind of don't want to, but like... Do these silly count towards the achievement in Sumeru? They probably do, right? <laughs> okay, so they do count. There is one in this game that doesn't count towards anything, actually. It's with the, um... It's with the, uh, da, 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 the mirror library in Ekonomia. There's actually two Sealy in that place. It only looks like one if you do it normally, but there's actually two. Um, so if I open this, he's going to fly out to the barrier, right? Is that how this works? Okay, no, he's going to stay there. Uh, I'm not sure if they fixed it. I don't think it was broken to begin with. It's just how they designed that specific area. So basically what happens in the mirror library, if that's what you're referring to, is that um, when you get to the mirror portion of it, there's a Sealy. And it flies over to the barrier, or the portal, right? And it looks like it's going through it. It's not actually going through the portal. It actually goes through the wall. And on the other side of the wall, on the outside, there's a, there's a Sealy. Uh... Or what do they call those? Those little uh, pillars they go to. And what that does is when it goes to that, it spawns another Sealy back in the original library. I don't believe that first one counts. <laughs> Sealy Court. Yes, thank you, that.
All right, I'll break it. <clears throat> I didn't. I never showed this one off, but I'm pretty much done with this area. So, and plus, I still have like three other ways to get out of bounds in this cave. There's so many ways; it's insane. This cave is like one of the most broken places in the game. Useless. Unless they patched this, I actually haven't checked in a few versions. About to find out, I guess. I'm still, I'm still going towards the goal. Did they patch this? Does not look like they did now. Oh, uh, oh boy, I have to remember how to get over there now. You can't just go through the wall. Okay, this could take a moment. <laughs> if it takes too long, I'll just do it the normal way. Uh, I gotta remember where this hole is that leads back in. <clears throat> how you did this too, soul? <laughs> I, I always love how often I find the way past the barrier. Right next to the barrier. Oh, I'm going the wrong direction. Oops. Uh, it should be over here, right? Is it a little bit higher? It might be a little bit higher. I should have placed a marker on my map. It's so easy to get lost up here. Uh... That does not look right. I think I'm back where I started. Let's take a peek. <laughs> I'm so distracted right now. <laughs> you have no idea. I can't remember where I'm supposed to go out here. I'm lost. Am I? Is this? Wait, wait. Is this this is wrong. I think this is wrong, but uh... don't fear. Yeah, I went the wrong way. <laughs> One more, one more. Give me one more shot at this. <clears throat> see ya, see ya, Kashiki. Thanks for joining in. Have a good rest. If I still don't find it this time, I'll give up. <laughs> DCG soonish. We do a little bit more of our Nyaka. No, this is wrong. You need to be a little bit higher up. Boring. Useless. Is 
this there. Yeah. Oh. I gotta find the ruin grater. Right next to the ruin grater. Should be like right over here though. stuck if I go down there, aren't I? Wait. Salvation, maybe? Yeah, yo, get unstuck. Come on. Oh my gosh, I'm stuck. <laughs> I think I'm stuck. Like, legit stuck. So close, it's right there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, whenever a new area is released, I just explore and try to find out how to break it. I'm trying to climb, actually. If I, if I can grab onto something, I'll be fine, but not let me grab anything. All right, that works, that works, hold on. Okay, you go this way. Oh my god. Ah. Uh. Grab the wall. Come on. I did not. This is not the way I wanted to find. This is the. This is the first way I found it. There's another way you can either just walk in and drop down a hole, but I went the wrong way, and I'm too lazy to go back. Come on. I know this works. <clears throat> right, let's not jump. Give this a few more shots. I had to jump the first time. I think I got it. Yep. There we go. <clears throat> Oh wow, she got out of that unscathed. <laughs> Traveler's son died in like the first second of that cutscene. Uh, okay. Um... Yeah. I unfortunately don't have an easy way back. Oh, I guess I could have climbed back out of the map and went around, but... Meh. I'd probably get lost out there again. Yep. <laughs> if anything, it's funny when they hail you during the cutscenes. I welcome it. <laughs> it was funny.
Alrighty, let me finish um, this whole quest chain, like this Kusava quest chain. I think there's one more, right? And then uh, we can do some TCG. I'll not get distracted anymore. At least during this quest chain. KP4, welcome to the stream. Wrapping up a bit of Aranyaka and then gonna be doing some genius invocation. of teams in TCG. I actually made a bunch of decks this morning. My main team, I guess, the one I use the most would be uh, Chongyun, Kaya, and um, Shinjo. It could. I think uh, Fontaine is supposed to be north of here. Uh, wait. I just pass it. It's above me, isn't it? Uh, I don't think it's any way easily climb this. Probably one of those things up there, right? Somewhere. Hey then. <laughs> We're on about to TCG. <laughs> That'd be something else. That's fine. I'll open signups whenever I uh, swap over to that account. Like I said, first I want to check to see if anyone in the previous list happens to be in the chat.
Yeah, I tend to uh, bear when a when a new region releases. I usually stream out of bounds, like literally right when it goes live. I usually start my stream a few hours before the pet the maintenance ends. <clears throat> I feel like maybe this time around I should probably make content out of it though, rather than just like a. They like do a sh like a short stream and then like turn it into like YouTube shorts or something. I tend to be like one of the first people in the new areas. Like I was in the internal o eternal oasis within like five minutes of the patch going up, and like I didn't see start seeing content for it pop up until like four or five hours after the patch was over. Like the I could have been like <laughs> number one like five minutes after out. Here's the eternal oasis. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Or like when um, the end of the Sumeru Archon quest release, I literally logged in on the top floor of uh, the house of uh, Dana. <laughs> Wait, am I doing something wrong here? Okay, no. Useless. The guides for like the locations and everything, yeah. I would imagine they literally just upload their raw gameplay footage with like barely any edits. I did not mean to fall. Yeah, that's the person that I always watch whenever I'm like, break, like, whenever I'm like doing something I haven't done before, like a quest. I always like watch their like walk through to see, oh, you're supposed to hit this switch. Okay, so I won't hit that switch. And that's why I use that person's content for. <laughs> Basically, to see what you're supposed to do, so I. Don't do that. Uh, this is my main account right now, yeah. He falls into the void all the time. I figured it uh, was a rather fitting name. Okay, slight distraction. At the ready. This world is. Terra Smash. I just want to see if this does anything. <laughs> Stay put. <laughs> oh, dang it. Wrong camera angle. <laughs> yes, the un <laughs> the Yandra grass. 
It is no more. <laughs> I was hoping for like a, a really wide shot from like up above. <clears throat> oh, I should try uh, Nahida's Burst. I wonder if that would change like a cutscene. out shall we if I have a charge if not whatever I've been waiting cool Temple of okay yeah it does carry over uh not the cutscene camera now It would be interesting if they did, though. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> now it's an action cutscene. So do I let it sit here for like an hour until the traveler dies? <laughs> I feel like it would- I'm not even sure if he's taking damage. I don't hear him crying out. Normally he'll make noises like he's getting hit. But he's not saying anything. Although I did just hear his weapon. His weapon just disappeared. Wait, is he already dead? Maybe that wasn't his weapon. Maybe that was him disappearing. Either he's he already died or he's off camera. I just heard something disappear again, like a weapon. I keep hearing it every time the camera switches angles. You saw him? Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's creeping from behind. He's creeping. <laughs> He's just staring. Oh, he almost died. No. Why isn't it starting automatically? Why do I have to actually talk? Ah, uh, hold on. I probably won't get them to enter the cutscene this time, though. Wait, one of them just died. <laughs> what the heck? Slimes, no. What just exploded? <laughs> Did the other slime just die? Okay, no. Yes! <laughs> this is exactly what I wanted. <laughs> okay, 
Usually, when you die in a cutscene like this, the traveler re it replaces the traveler with like a. Um. Oh, it's probably because I have traveler in the, my party. That's why it's not happening. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Welcome. Didn't you know? Paimon's the main character of the story. There never was a traveler. It's always just been Paimon. Oh, sorry. Um, about the, uh... Normally what happens is, uh, it replaces the traveler with the, um another version of the Traveler. Because there's, there's two versions of the Traveler. There's the one that's in your party, and then there's the one that appears if you don't have him in your party. Generally what happens is it replaces him with the version that's that just appears if he's not in your party. <clears throat> it's it's weird. I guess every cutscene is different though, because I tested this on um the cutscene with Razor way at the beginning of the game in his story where we had to defeat the big slime if you let it sit there for a moment the big slime will actually start attacking you and when the traveler dies in that cutscene another traveler just appears that can't trigger um aggro and the enemies just walk away <clears throat> what's going on is the traveler just died in this cutscene Which is why you see no traveler here. It's kind of weird how much sense this cutscene still makes because <laughs> the Traveler is mostly a silent protagonist. They're holding his funeral. <laughs> oh, there, there he is. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, oh, well. So this traveler, I don't think, can aggro enemies. Yeah, okay. It didn't recover, revive him. Sometimes it'll, like, sometimes your traveler will randomly get revived in very specific cutscenes. Um, lantern right, the latest lantern right was one of them. If you'd kill the traveler, uh, during the scene where you're walking with, uh, Dvorak, you end up getting revived. <clears throat> okay, uh, where do I need to go? Actually, let me go revive the traveler. He doesn't need more health. This way, maybe he'll die again in another cutscene. That'll be funny. No, well... Uh, 
when I tested it in the um, the Razor setup that I was talking about earlier, Razor Story Quest, where you encounter the big slime, that's when I first tested this. And I only had the Traveler in my party when I tested that. The cutscene did not end when the Traveler died, but it did say game over right when the cutscene ended. So right when the cutscene ended, it just immediately went to game over. I feel like it could be different for each cutscene too. Just because we all know this game it has no consistency in how things are designed, which is why it's so awesome. But also at times frustrating. Oops. <laughs> I said the wrong thing. <laughs> Alright. This is the one where you have to teleport through the portals, right? to make the quest. <laughs> oh, how long does it have to make? Okay, I get, I get what you're saying now. I, I, It's very long, for sure, but if you don't do it all in one sitting, it's a very enjoyable quest. It's probably the best one in the game. Oh, this is not the one with the teleporting portals. Okay. You can actually do this part without res reviving any of these. But uh, we'll just do it normally. I don't feel like. <laughs> Get out of my way. Having to go get a purple waypoint and teleport in here a bunch of times. Uh, is this the right version? No. Uh. I forget, how do you cycle through this again? There's a way to change what this does, right? There we go. Thank you, Simonko. I appreciate it. Uh, oh, right. Okay, I can cheat this one. 
try. Actually faster too, assuming I get it on the first try. These wanna despawn. Come on. There we go. Uh, I'm not gonna make this, am I? And I removed my archer. <laughs> Come on, Shao. Don't hit the enemy, don't hit the enemy. Oh my. I'm upset. <laughs> This same thing happened in Traveler to Sound the first time I tried it. I hit the enemy. Oh well. Uh, whatever you don't do in here during the quest, if you skip parts of it, becomes permanent with locked content. Not that it does anything, but... Converse, huh? That's what I'm doing with the little statue thing. Recovery thing. Here it is. I see everything. I really don't have anyone to do damage, do I? Any cards? Me. Be okay. Oh, yeah, about that. in my butt stop climbing <laughs> I don't want to use my recovery item come on About to lose to these little uh, fun guy. Oh, my traveler has no artifact. It's like traveler is on. Terra smash. This is terrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Basically, why I didn't travel this half for it. Just camp the uh, Starfall Sword a lot. Where's the other one? Terra Smash! Low damage output is a staple. Did that guy just fully heal? Are you kidding me? Oh my god, we're gonna be here a moment. Probably just knock this guy into water, right? Do the fungus drown? Or is this just not deep enough? Terra Smash! Quake. Dude doesn't even get a turn. This <laughs> is infinitely stun locked. There we go. <clears throat> yep. <laughs> Oh, forget it. I don't even care. <laughs> I'm so sick of my art artifact inventory. Uh, I reach that. Yeah. There we go. Why do I have a full artifact inventory, man? I've had one for ages. It's terrible. I'll keep this close. Yes, it is. <clears throat> um, usually artifacts, but I haven't done artifact domains in like three weeks because I just don't want to deal with my artifact inventory. Yep, I have that issue too. I've been burning a lot of them on random weapons. Like my, I have a current goal of uh, maxing out Four rain, rain slashers for no reason. Just to destroy some of those stones. I've actually used the destroy option in over a thousand of them. They're really annoying. Alrighty. TCG time. Do a bit of TCG. Then probably come back and do a bit more of the quest. Switch accounts.
be just a moment. Okay. Should be able to see it again. <clears throat> Let me find that list really quick of the people from last time and see if any of them are here. Okay, so I have a list here of people who didn't get to play last time who signed up. If any of you are here, I need to know. Um, I have Yakao, Azure, Vivi, Ro, Opaimon, and Azelf. Azelf? Azelf. I haven't seen any of them in the, in the chat, so I'm assuming they're not here, but I'll give it just a quick second. And if not, we'll just take new signups. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I figured they were apps. I haven't seen any of them pop up in the chat. Okay, we can take some sign-ups then. Uh, yeah, I know Cass, Nilu, and D Luke want to play. Um, anyone else want to play? Okay, Skyrix. here to watch okay fair enough anyone else oh i see you uh <laughs> what a name i'm just gonna call you idk <laughs> uh yeah i can put my uid on the screen here in a moment too Oh, I, sh I should uh, reiterate, or clarify, rather. Uh, this is America server. Is that the right one? 
Where's ah. that? Should be able to see it, right? Yeah. Okay, bottom right corner is my info now. Hmm. Correct. This is the same account I used one trace on. Alright, well we can roll with this small list for now. These games do take a while to get through. I've got uh, seven people signed up, so... Okay, um... Uh, Cass, you're up first. <laughs> now, I need to ask, when you guys get in here, if you want to play the, the limited time mode, we can. Just let me know when you when you get in here. Oh, uh, yeah, hold on. This is why. Okay, go ahead and try again. Okay, so you, you just get that thing as a pet after you do the quest. Is it like a permanent item? I see those things lying around out of bounds in the desert in certain places. <clears throat> that little thing that's floating around you. Oh, you muted the stream. Uh, yeah, I so far have these people on the sign up. It, the order is Cass, D Luke, Nilu, Skyrix, Vans, IDK, Roblox. In that order. Taki gang stirs up any trouble, I'll drag every last one of them back to apologize. I'm curious about trying this deck out, so I'm gonna roll with it. <clears throat> oh, you're Europe? Okay, we'll do. Sorry about that. Be nice if they had cross server for some things. Oh, uh, what a starting hand, uh, we have a lot of cards right at the bat. Um... There is no escape. One short, but that's okay. What do I got? <clears throat> I summon thee. Uh, after this game, and sure. I should probably hold. Oh no, that's a location card. I can get rid of this. But I can do that next time. Ah, uh, 
shoot, I should not have played that just yet. I've already made a mistake. <laughs> oh, well. I guess this is fine. <clears throat> Water's form is ever changing. I hope you have a lot of those, Cass. <laughs> That's a zero cost, and I don't have any. I might as well just hold on to it. I'm currently playing Cass. of the wilderness. Not much, just switched over to TCG for a bit. And that's two. Does Libin stack? If I have two Libin active at the same time, do they both fill up simultaneously with the same amount of dice? Or does it take six? Does anyone know? Uh, actually, I need these. Uh, get rid of these. Now. I guess we're about to find out, aren't we? <clears throat> uh... 
Let's see, it'd be toss one and three. That's fine. Well. That's fine. Okay, they do not fill up simultaneously. That's unfortunate. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter which, does it? Contamination must be washed away. What does this thing even do? You deal damage, deal plus one. Okay, because it was so it wasn't because you switched. Got it. Uh, how much would this do? Eight. Is a dead turkey. Uh, is there anything else I can do? No, I'm out of dice. Uh, yeah, I'm out. Where is the pure land? Yeah, we'll see if she can pull this off. Prob oh, wait, is that a... That's her card, her equipment card. I guess that's lucky. So I'm not sure there's anything I can do with it at this point, since I think it's reaction base, isn't it?
by royal decree. Yeah, dental related reactions. I mean, I guess technically. Yeah, okay. Uh, before I do this, though, is there anything else I can do? No. This one might be close, actually. Perfectly, uh, perfectly even. <laughs> you have Electro on your side, I have Hydro. <laughs> Ugh, your Electro is probably going to be better, though. Oh, yeah. Uh... I'm probably dead. Yeah, I think that's game over. You have three dice and you have three cards. There's nothing I can do. Uh... Yeah. All I can really do is shoot. The zero damage. Uh, yeah, good game. Since it's over, I'll get one last skill use in. <laughs> Try this on for size. Good game. Lots of summons. in the list. D. Luke. You want to jump in here? Yeah, you're free to join if you want. You just want to chill. Gotcha. Uh, you're gonna have to give me two dollars then a little bit because I am doing wishes on this account soon. So, uh... <laughs> I planned to from the start. <laughs> uh, you want to join to chill? Uh, feel free to, Gyrex. What's your, uh... Actually, if you just punch in my UID, you should be able to join on me. Because you are after these two, so I might as well get all three of you in here. Unfortunately, though, you won't be able to play a game while you wait, because they still haven't changed that. You're in for a little shock. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what one do I want to try out this time? <clears throat> oh, uh. shock now we're talking <laughs> uh wait can i invite friends to that yeah invite teammate okay i made a deck specifically for this let's see if it works <laughs> um none of these decks i'm trying have been tested yet <clears throat>
Hopefully this works. Oh jeez. <laughs> right off the rip. I'm so sorry. Uh This is actually a really good starting hand. Time for some training? Yeah, this is my first time trying it. Should be interesting. I mean, technically there's still card draw RNG, but yeah, it's much less. It does, however, nullify quite a bit of cards. Any of the cards that are sent around manip manipulating dice are useless. Uh, do, do, do. A touch of frost. <laughs> Um Come with me. <clears throat> Hello, welcome to the stream. Oh, perfect. And everyone's talent card. Uh, yeah, this this uh, deck is built specifically for 8 Omni Dice mode. It has no dice support cards. <laughs> like, things that manipulate dice rolls. The viability of this deck is still very great in normal mode, but you would definitely have to sacrifice no rest for the wicked. some of the uh, damage output. <clears throat> Let's see, that's gonna cost me three, two, nine. Perfect. Uh, what do you mean no valid target? Oh, that's razors. Whoops, I thought that was betas. Oh, well, this still works out though. I think Beto works very well. I haven't, I haven't tested this, obviously, but uh, with this artifact, because that means whenever you use her skill, she basically gains four HP. I might, tr I have another deck where she's with uh, uh, Noel that might be pretty busted, assuming that counts as a separate shield. I might as well play this, right?
Wait, here, do you, do you already have one equipped? No. Really want this on Razor, but I guess it doesn't matter. Probably not other servers, uh, at least not for TCG. That'd be a ton of work to go through all that stuff again. <laughs> Make one for each server type. Uh, really nothing else I can do. Time for some training? Fourth, my play. My play. Ah, this doesn't look good. Um, I don't have anything else to do but end, so I'll probably end up losing Chong Yun, but that should be okay. I got his uh skill back up before and.
What a shame that I'm getting that now. One, two, turn, two, wait. Oh well. I could have swapped that over to Razor. His weapon. <clears throat> After all that training. All right, let's go. Choices. Eight pyro damage, two shield points. No, she die. Uh yeah, okay. <clears throat> My strategy here is not working like I wanted it to. This is my first time playing this deck though. I had a really good starting hand, but everything I've gotten since then hasn't lent itself to letting me attack. The idea is you get set up with any one of these characters, this is a matter of which. Um, and once you get up to their burst, you can basically pressure the opponent. Because no matter what, whoever gets their burst, doesn't matter which one, can probably wipe out like two characters within like a turn or two. But I don't think I'm gonna get to that point. Um. No, that's gonna cost. So yeah, right now I'm just gonna, it's just gonna come down to, uh, basically this. He's probably gonna wipe out my Beto right now. Yeah, this is, this is basically a coin flip at this point. Like, there's a chance I draw something good and I'm able to turn the tide, but it's not looking too great right now. <clears throat> No, nah, this is a coin flip. It basically comes down. Oh, uh, what? Never mind. I take it back. Maybe I can win this. <laughs> Was not expecting that. Uh, shoot, what do I do? I guess just attack, right? Yeah. It's still 50-50. I don't know what any of these cards are.
Yeah, see? That that turns the tide. Now they might win. Uh, is there anything I can do? Uh, no, that's end phase. That's probably game over. Yeah. What does this even do? Six damage? Yep, good game. What did I say? It was 50 50. <laughs> Burn. Yeah, there's still so many cards in my deck that I wanted to get. I'm pretty sure I have like eight or nine food cards in here, <laughs> and I only got like two of them. Oh, yeah, I could sign some people up. I saw like two people ask earlier. Uh... Yeah, I got you. I got you guys signed up. I slain Joshua. Okay, so next is Neelu, who's already in here. Urine for a little shock. Lately, I okay, I get to try this death one more time. <laughs> Hopefully I get better uh, cards. No good for going out. Hmm. Did I say that yesterday as well? we get this time um this is fine i guess and we'll drop that for now oh perfect Perfect, perfect, perfect.
corruption test. Uh. See ya, Cass. Thanks for tuning in. Well, I did hear that the Magu Kenki got nerfed. Didn't they, like, remove, like, a, the damage on one of the skills? Now it just summons or something? Time for some training? with my blade. Kinda gotta be, we have a Sucrose that can really keep changing my active character because dice don't matter. <laughs> You're out of dice. And... Uh, these three... Uh, 
Okay, this should be fine. Swift and merciful. All right, then. Oh, no, it is. I just want to keep doing this. What do I want to do here? Hmm. <clears throat> I switch. Bad things happen. That child card is really good when you have all three of the same weapon type. <clears throat> yeah, until that sucrose is down, I have no choice but to make it just basically trap you no matter what you do. It has to be a bad move, because you can keep switching my active character. I don't have Catherine out, so... She's in this deck somewhere. I have two copies of her in here. I don't know why she hasn't popped up yet. Free. That's fine. Submit for judge. Don't wish you luck. Depending on what you do. There you go. All right. After all that training. Come with me. I'm not done. No, no. Second time using her. She seems like she's really good. If if I can activate her burst right now, yeah, I'm not gonna be able to because she's probably gonna die. But she would be really, really good because she'd be able to do super conduct on every attack. Uh. Let's just nullify that and call it here. This mode is there's no roll phase. You just get eight Omni dice. So basically any card that manipulates dice in your favor is useless. Things like the... Um, the Paimon card that gives you like multiple Omni dice when you start the turn is still useful, but things that change the, the type of dice or re-rolling are pointless. Uh, I think that's game, right? No, really. Alright, well... I guess I don't need to use this. Okay, 
Okay, what does her burst do? <laughs> Three damage? Okay. Power the Python. <laughs> My research has failed. Well, I got the setup, but the game ended right when I got it. That setup would have been broken. She'd be dealing... I think she'd be dealing five damage every turn. And then also activating Superconduct and the rest of the... Well, if there were any other characters still alive. And her... If I get her equipment card on her too, her normal attacks would only cost like one dice per... <laughs> she takes a lot of setup, but she's broken if you get the right setup going. <laughs> Okay, um, next. Van- er, huh? no, not Van. Skyrix, shock. you're up next. Normal, huh? All right. <clears throat> yeah. Why did it reset the name? Was my deck name offensive and it reset it for co-op? <laughs> Is that what happened here? Oh, wow. Okay. That's, uh... That's interesting. I This deck was named Forest Fire. I guess that was offensive. Because you know, two Dendro and Klee. Don't blink. Uh, we'll try this deck out. <laughs> Please don't hate me if this is... As bad as I think it's going to be. <clears throat> Alright, to come up with a new, a new deck name for that since Forest Fire won't work. Well, I'm okay with this. I will protect you. <laughs> All right, Vance. I see we have similar decks. <laughs> Steady as stone. But how similar, I wonder. Uh, I don't think I can do anything. Nope. <clears throat> You guys guessed the theme of my deck yet? Based on the cards in my hand.
Ding, ding, ding. Hey, yep, I wanted to try a stalling death. Does this give you? Is it two points? Two points of shield. I feel like we might have very similar decks. Like, far more similar than I'm thinking. Uh, is this a good idea? Might as well, right? As a good night here. Charity eight. Yeah, it could take a while. It's intense though. Look at that roll. <laughs> oh, perfect. Beautiful. Aw, oh, I should have waited to use my burst. Oh well. I must leave no stone unturned. Yeah, the double jade chamber I had it as my starting hand. Heal. I might as well cost zero, right? Although, doesn't she heal when I do attacks now? I think so, right? Yup. Is there a turn limit? I thought there was no turn limit. Why would they have a turn limit? That seems so pointless. I hope that's not true. Because eventually you run out of cards, and once you run out of cards, there's... Somebody's gonna fall. Pretty sure I have a wolf's gravestone in here somewhere. Time to clean. 
cleanup. Keep forgetting she already ate. <laughs> uh, what do I want to do here? This is really my only only option, right? Oh wait, I keep forgetting she heals now. I do a normal attack. Uh, is that worth it? Probably not, otherwise I'll have used that for nothing. Steady as stone. <clears throat> Ooh, this might hurt actually. Is she gonna go down? the switch I wonder <clears throat> use this Enough still. This is risky, but I'll go for it. That's a lot more damage than I thought it'd be. Uh, good game, probably. Uh, have fun, Ningguang. <laughs>
Catherine. Dang it. I think I have her in this deck. She'd be nice to have. Be kind of useless. I think she's dead, anyways. Uh, that'd be one short, wouldn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> Don't waste my time. Yeah, we basically have the same deck. <laughs> Just different characters. I sworn I have this in here too, it just hasn't shown up yet. Um, okay, I don't think that's worth doing right now, actually. All right, let's go. Nothing I can do. Catherine, where are you? Leave it all to me. Back off. Uh, uh. 
I'm sorry. That takes your turn. Uh, what? That's unfortunate. Okay, beta just went down my tier list. <laughs> Result, isn't it? It is. I'll do it. Oh, nope, I messed up. Okay, that's only once per turn. Never mind. That might cost me the game. I thought the uh, artifact could keep activating. I know it was once per turn. Yeah, that's gonna cost me the game. Now Beto is dead, when she didn't have to be. There it is, after I'm out of food cards. I could have kept Beto alive for one more turn, but I thought, I thought that uh, the artifact she had on could keep activating. But I guess it was only once. Um, I don't think I have any food cards left. But I guess I could try. Interesting. Hold up. Cost me two, then one. That does kill, right? Just making sure. Okay, that'll kill. I can play this and hope I have a food card left. Ugh. Well, that might come in handy next turn. No heals, but I can at least get the Noel out of here. I am a disgrace to the night. I did just do four damage. Ah, oh, I did. Okay. Uh, I need to believe in the heart of the cards. I don't even know what I could have that could save me. Maybe some kind of healing item. Like that. There's Catherine. <laughs> I can't use her anymore. Well, I guess I'll turn it into a dice if I need it. Uh, okay. 
How about some more Geo? Double Omni, okay. Hard of the cards and hard of the dice, apparently. Uh, what do I want to do here? I guess I have no choice but to do this, right? I think I'm dead either way. Especially with them having 10 dice. Uh, I'm pretty sure I'm dead either way. Maybe I shouldn't have used that hash brown. I might have wanted to use this instead. Uh... Oh, so close. That's what it comes down to. <laughs> Delve into destiny. Uh, is there even anything I can do here? I don't have any dice. Nope. Just pray I can survive this round. If I can, I have a chance. Uh, probably not. That, what does it even do? Makes you do one more damage. Uh, good game. So close. <laughs> Literally came down to the wire here. Was not expecting us to have basically the same deck though. That was fun. You can bully me. Okay. Uh, Vans, you said to remove you from the list. IDK, are you still here? <clears throat> there will be a Traveler sign in this month sometime. Star Conch? What else do I need to create the most dreadfully disgusting cocktail? Come on, enough procrastinating. Let's go. Oh. <clears throat> IDK, if you're here, let me know. You're next on the list. Okay, Roblox, are you still here?
Indeed it is. <clears throat> I saw Roblox just talking, but if they're not here anymore, we'll just keep moving on the list. Already, Iceland. I see that you're still here, so you're up. The scribe's work is simple, which is exactly why I took the position. Incoming. Hey. Adventuring, as in business, you always have to seize the opportunity while it's there. ECG jukebox, like letting us pick our music during the match. That'd be nice. Hmm. There have been many poorly written applications lately. I guess I'll just have to reject them all. Just play every match to Al Haytham's theme. All right, is that looks like you <clears throat> on the new Sealy thing? What do you mean? I'm not sure I know what you mean. Do you mean this little lamp like thing? I actually don't know what that is. All I know is it's part of the new quest. I haven't done the quest yet. work is simple, which is exactly why I took the position. Uh, uh, that stretch feels good. Oh, let's try another new deck. Um... <clears throat> Try the Klee deck that got renamed because apparently it was a <laughs> offensive name. <clears throat> yes, that one. This one was named Forest Fire, but apparently that's offensive, so <laughs> they removed it. I was going to like do a whole theme for it, too. I was going to do the Sumeru background with the uh, fire flower cards. Uh... This is pretty good. Torch grass. <laughs> what was that purple bow? I didn't see it, but off the top of my head, the purple bows would be Fischl's weapon, uh, Yoimiya's signature weapon, and then that craftable weapon from Inazuma. Oh no, these are Dendro. Only one of those is dead true. Cool.
the angry law churl. How many geodice did you roll? Jeez. <laughs> I'm not sure this is really going to matter much, but... Sure. I'm pretty sure that character's dead. Yep. Um... I'll deal four, then I'll deal... Four minus one... the better option. Trainee Forest Ranger Kale, reporting. Okay, so this is tricky, yeah. Probably want to do... I'll get rid of this one, honestly. <clears throat> 
This might come back to bite me, but... I will risk it. Choices. No, I had to. I had to switch characters. I was trying to think through all the possibilities. I'm like, well, he's gonna take one damage, so if I don't switch. Callie's dead. Oh, potentially dead. Yeah, she would have been dead. As a good night should. Should live this? Yeah. Okay. You have one dice left. <clears throat> I do this and then I can switch and then I still have enough, correct? Yes. <clears throat> Man. <laughs> Talk about having everything you need. Survive this. game unless they have more healing <laughs> this is gonna do one piercing damage okay. I have a disgrace oh to the night I guess I thought calling Amber only did one damage <laughs> Yeah, I got a win. My second win today. Why not keep me company for a while? There'll be plenty of time for <laughs> Okay, one. bite yeah. is uh is yeah, bite really censored? <laughs> I guess Hold on. I'll just have to reject them all. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Wait. I can't believe that. No. It's nearly time for afternoon tea. <clears throat> All right, I've got two people left in the list. I've got Joshua. Are you here, Joshua? Okay, you're up. You can see my UID in the bottom right. Just punch that into the co-op menu and you should be able to join. Uh, once someone leaves anyway. It's not enough to cultivate intelligence. All those scholars in the academia are prime examples. the kick button. <laughs> Just go random. Okay. The scribe's work is. Oh, someone left. Never mind. <laughs> uh, what is your username, Joshua? Okay, go ahead and try again. Yeah, you're next, Matt. You're after Joshua. And that will end the list. Which means wishes and then Aranyaka again, probably. For a little bit. What time is it? Omni again. Uh, don't want to try Beto or that deck's been kind of failing me. But Why not? I did, but I'll be doing a few more wishes probably on this account. Actually, I'm done with TCG here in a minute.
<laughs> Thanks, D. Luke. I was very close to kicking someone. <laughs> All right, let's go. Your penance is due. Oh, a Sino? This is the first time I've seen a Sino. That's so messed up that it takes your turn. <laughs> right. With Beta in the deck, you basically have to shift how you play from trying to start first to always going second. It's really weird. Maybe. <laughs> I should probably read him what Sino does. <laughs> A route to Electro. Oh wow, you weren't kidding, you really did wait. <laughs> okay then. Uh this doesn't care for who the active character is, correct? Doesn't sound like it. Okay, it does not care who the active character is. Good, good. I was hoping for that. Oh, 
Uh, I won't, don't say I necessarily don't like the character, but I never use Chong Yoon in the open world, but he's almost always in my deck in TCG. I think he's one of the strongest characters in TCG. Oh, I got both of them. Cool. Using Ellen, probably not. Dang. Well, I could do one more attack. I kind of had the reverse setup. Ideally, Chong Yu would have went first, and then Beidou would be the one attacking, but it is what it is. Uh, I can't do an attack, so... My play. It was an accident. Surrender. After all that training. Okay. <clears throat> So, I think that's game over. In death, a new cycle begins. I can't do anything. <laughs> Anything I can do to make this flashy? 
No, I don't think there is. <laughs> Good game. So that, that deck has some issues. Uh, <laughs> it definitely needs to start with Chong Yun and then go to Beidou. Unless Chong Yun can get his uh Guess we can rest a bit. His talent card equipped, or Beidou and Chong Yun can both use their skill and burst in the same turn, you don't really get too much time to invoke the strategy. Which is five damage per hit, uh superconduct guaranteed every normal attack. All right, man, you're up. And then probably some wishes. I'll take a short break to grab a snack and maybe more Aranyaka. Thanks, Wolf, for the donation. As always, these will be, um, this will be on my channel if you want to skim through it later. Mostly just been TCG. Some breaking of Aranyaka. that a pun van really bring the night because it makes sense as both time. a pun and as a legitimate sentence the wind rises lizard tail pepper star conch hmm. i'm what indeed doing, doing basically nothing but gaming this weekend <laughs> Pick someone if I need to. <clears throat> Thank you for the sub. All right. I am going to randomly kick someone. What's the kick button? X. Okay. Alright, so it ended up. <laughs> Sorry, Aislinn. <clears throat> uh, okay, yeah, this has to be you, because you said you accidentally tried to join earlier. I <laughs> love the name. <laughs> it's also very amusing with, uh, Shang Li's face staring at you so stoically. on here they were playing earlier well this is the last person on the list so eight is is i 
I don't know how this deck's gonna do since it has uh has dice manipulation in it, but Relax. I wanna play my Chong Yun deck. Every journey has its final day. Uh, Don't rush. Guess we can rest a bit. <clears throat> they should just let the other two people play their own game. You can have four people in a world, but only the host and one person can be playing a game at any given time. The two guests can't play. That's weird. That's a good start. Present. All monsters, huh? We're we gonna see abyssal summons. I guess there's no point in using this just yet. Okay, I got both of them. Oh, you don't have a best summons in? Interesting. I've actually never seen that card get played. So many choices. If I end, that'd be plus one. It's still not enough. Alright, I'll just put the pressure on and do some damage. It doesn't matter. I'm sitting here thinking maybe I can one hit the Magu Kenki if I end, but I don't think there's any way for me to do so. Even if I draw Wolf's Gravestone, I think he'd have one HP too much. This is interesting. Sacrifice in the Magu Kenki? Does this take effect for oh he already has it on, never mind. Uh do, 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 do. Changing. Submit for judgment. Not water too. Lucky you had that frog. <laughs>
Man, Shao would be really nice right now, but I don't think I have him in this deck. <laughs> Uh, am I thinking this right? That'll take me down to... No. Okay, I'm glad I did not just do that. Uh, <laughs> I always just wasted this. That would have been really bad. See ya, Kaya. I think you're dead from all this, right? Yes. Still a pretty close game. Dead even. Uh, this doesn't look good. May knowledge guide. Gonna be close. Outlines your fate.
sure if this is the right. No, actually, no, that's ideal because it adds ice again. That's fine. Uh, I think that's everything. It was still a pretty close game. I mean, I guess it's still definitely not over. You might draw something that saves you here. <laughs> As I was saying. <clears throat> Fortunately, I think I got the item I needed to make sure you can't win this. <laughs> this should be it. Yeah. Good game. Force my play. You can't run from dead. Wolf's Gravestone literally just saved my rear. <laughs> I think he would have survived had I not had that. Yeah, Chongyun's the number one character in TCG. <laughs> you cannot convince me otherwise. Cryo infusion to basically everyone who wields a melee weapon. Uh, a burst that can one hit a character. His talent card adds one damage to normal attacks. It also extends his infusion for everyone by one turn. Yeah. I, I agree. Again, I think he's the most busted character. That's why when, like, characters like, uh, uh, who was it? Yoimiya and stuff was getting nerfed. I'm like, how is he getting out of this scot free? All right. I'm going to take a short, like, Five minute break to get a quick snack and then I'm gonna do wishes and then probably more Arnyaka or something <clears throat> Yeah, that's true is there they take three energy you want to go next if you'd like to well, they see don't the need the thing spots. is they don't need the energy because references. wolf's gravestone is also an incredibly broken card wolf's gravestone basically says if enemies hp equals six then enemy dies <laughs> which is insane since that's over half their health osmanthus no wine tastes the same out. as i remember hmm. Did I say that yesterday as well? But where are those well? who share the memory? Huh? Come a little closer. Hello, Owen. Was playing TCG. I am taking a quick five minute break. I'll be right back. Oh, see ya, Cass. And when I get back, probably wishes. I'll hate them wishes. Even though I'm not going for I'll hate them. If I get them, cool. I'll be right back.
Every journey has its final day. Don't rush. Huh. You're in for a little shock. <laughs> Let's dance! Wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. The show begins. <sighs> Everyone is working super hard. We should be too. I'll protect us. As tall as my big sister.
It's nearly time for afternoon tea. Everyone is working super hard. We should be too. Making me so sleepy. I wonder when I'll be as tall as my big sister. Ready, steady, go! <laughs> Let the show begin. Everyone is working super hard. We should be too. I wonder <sighs> when I'll be as tall as my big sister. Are you tired? Try my new spicy energy drink. I'm sure it'll wake you up. Silly churl, Alrighty. Churl, silly billy hilly churl. <laughs> Does it let you do wishes in co-op? Or is it gonna make you... Oh, I guess you can. All right, I just need one of Eugene or Yao Yao. That is neither of them. <clears throat> Okay. Let's do these one at a time, shall we? Everyone is working super hard. We should be too. That would be pretty funny. This account is... Oh, there we go. We're done. <clears throat> this account only has, like, 
I think it was only on like two pity or something like that. But we are done. Cool. inside did it fall I guess I'll fight out in a moment <clears throat> Let the show begin. Yeah, I figure I'll just uh, do the first part of Wait, where'd the cat go to go next if you'd like to see Liu Wei's Taurus spots, I don't see it out of bounds I have a few references weird <clears throat> I'll protect us. <laughs> blame Shang Wei Time to go back to Aranyaka for a little bit. But if she keeps holding this, just keep making that tune. Ah, it makes you throw it. Never mind. to my other account and do a little bit more of Aranyaka and then probably call the stream. And who knows, a little bit might be all of Aranyaka, I don't know. I'm technically like 60% down with it. Oh yeah, the square cups. <laughs> Why do so many people make Cloud such Retainer a big went deal out of crazy over it, and then she's like asking the traveler if she there? if the traveler agrees with her about it being Every the most absurd thing ever. Final day. Don't rush. That was a pretty ah. funny part of the Are you tired? of the quest. Uh, my new spicy uh, uh, drink. Uh, I'm sure it'll wake you up. All right, I'm gonna swap accounts now. Give me one moment. I wonder when I'll be as.
Alrighty. More Arnyaka speedrunning. I do not want to get distracted this time, but I probably will. Uh, I need to do... this. I might get distracted again. Although it was fun, I'm not sure I want to <laughs> do these domains like I did the last time using only the Traveler. Oh, is the game muted? Okay, hold on. There you go. <laughs> I'm not gonna make this, am I? Why I hate not having Xiao in the party. Oh my gosh, really? Can I stand on this? Okay, we can save it. I don't think I have any on me. I remember using it when I was doing Out of Bounds and that new desert quest. So I've done the first part of it. Up until um, you clear the first temple. this mountain oh my I could just use that can I if I had just moved over like 10 steps to my east I could have avoided all of that oh well I'm already distracted. <clears throat> Aw, they're leaving. You lose HP for a bit. She's pretty broken in there. Her and Nahida clear basically everything. Oh yes. I can show off something cool here. I showed in the Traveler Song video, but I'm already distracted.
you climb atop this, the camera goes crazy. Terra smash. Uh, I probably have cushing out, shouldn't I? Let's finish this quick. <laughs> you stand right in the center of it, the camera doesn't know what to do. It starts freaking out. Anyways. Uh... Fire. <laughs> yeah, it is. I should have given a warning for that. <laughs> Wait, am I doing this right? Am I not supposed to play this yet? Okay. Guess I was standing in the wrong spot. Archon Quest in Sumeru is very long. The longest yet. It'll probably take you, I don't know, upwards of six hours, seven hours. If you don't skip any dialogue, it could take longer. I definitely recommend not skipping the dialogue because it's probably the best Archon Quest to date. I broke sacred cleansing ritual. That was a fun one. Make it so that the first part of the quest is still active, even though the entire quest chain has been completed. And by extension, you should be able to make it so, uh... What's your name? Hana Chirusato, the lady in the, with the fox mask. You can make it so she doesn't disappear, I'm pretty sure. If you skip her opening dialogue. Uh... Remember correctly, we have a Ruin Drake here. Go 
Barber, go! <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> I think everything in Sakura Cleansing Ritual is only used for cl yeah. Sakura Cleansing Ritual. I don't think the first quest of that is used for anything. Because all the first quest is, is talking to her, um, getting the sigil, and then talking to the people in town. You can basically grab the sigil and run away from her before her um, conversation starts with you. If you do that, you can just skip to the next quest. Well, you'll have to break into the well from out of bounds, but... Oh, that's right. I put, uh... I put some stuff back in Xiao. See if he's not gonna be as strong. Sure, just context for the stream. I'm just rushing through uh, <laughs> Aranyaka right now. We just got done playing TCG for a few hours. If you're talking about what's going on in chat, however, I'm as lost as you are. one where is it be up here, right? <laughs> or was I hitting the right one and that just missed somehow? It has to be down there because the quest thing is telling me to go over there. Oh, let's get an archer. Maybe that just missed. <laughs> Don't know how that is, sure but... Safety. Okay, help, I'm blind apparently. Where is this last one? <laughs> oh. <laughs> no, okay, I remember this, hold on. I thought this was going to be used for after the quest, but there's something I wanted to try here. Uh, yes, I'm getting distracted again. The Hida will be perfect for this. Will this work? It did. <laughs> Dang, I should have did that in Traveler's on. Oh well. 
Uh, I couldn't run because I was in deep water. Oh well. Could just shoot it with the bow, but that's no fun. I missed. No. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I still don't have any. I don't have any just random artifacts I can throw stuff into. This is so annoying. Okay, this seems promising, I guess, right? Sure. Nope, go for it. <clears throat> to crit damage. Cool. <clears throat> yeah, but it's always one short or perfect. One of those one to attack percent. I mean, I guess that's the one of the better things he could go into besides crit damage, but... Uh, I've heard tell of something similar to that, D. Luke. I haven't tested it for myself. But I've heard that if you go too high into the sky, like I did in my video, but if you go even higher, apparently you get locked out of the game. And you have to like force close it or something and I can't remember the exact details, but basically it, it's so bad that it starts messing up the login screen or something. I haven't seen it for myself, but I've been told by two people that's what happened. Okay, this is the one with the... With the puzzle at the end that you can run up the tree instead of shooting with an arrow. That would be interesting if there's a way to do that. I found it interesting that this part of the quest is locked by this part. I don't remember that being the case. Because when I did this on Traveler San, this was the last of the domains I did. Which means I had done that one prior and I don't understand why this quest is locking this. 
Yeah, it's probably Tales of Dragon Slayer. I should switch it, but I I've been playing uh Shao Kli Barbara lately. Went back to my old team. makes much more sense on that team. Unlike this one where attack doesn't really matter. This will be possible <laughs> without Geo Traveler. Uh, no, because there's gonna be nowhere for me to stand. Okay, you definitely need Geo Traveler. back up from here. What are you talking about, Bazooka? That's absolutely real. I've heard about that. How have you not heard about that? Two more to go. Uh, a 
Okay, now it's unlocked. <laughs> nice, it does stay. Get the cutscene to fireworks. Is it just gonna randomly end or <clears throat> is this this event's on a timer, isn't it? Now I'm curious of what happens if a, a timer runs out during a cutscene. <laughs> Should we chill here for like the next two minutes to see what happens? <laughs> it's probably gonna be nothing though. I'm also lost, but it's, it's pretty entertaining. How long does this timer go for? <laughs> Don't take the bait, Bazooka. <laughs> That's all you gotta do. <clears throat> yeah, this challenge timer is a lot longer than I thought it was. I thought it was only like two minutes. Oh, here we go. Uh, I hit try again. I thought it was going to teleport me in the cutscene, but it didn't. Is it going to teleport me afterwards? Yes. Dang. I was hoping that we did something super interesting. Where's the rose? Am I blind? Oh, it got unloaded. The rose got unloaded because the challenge is going on. <laughs> but there's no... Oh, the quest is breaking.
Chocolate milk? Has been a while. Could go super old school and do strawberry milk. like I wanted it to but we have a two minute timer we're good that sounds like it would not taste very good D Luke ah it fails if you leave go too far away fair enough Yes, in the square cup. You're absolutely right. That is the finishing touch. Go, Barbara, go! <laughs> Everyone hold hands! Positions! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's a nice try. <laughs> Very creative.
Oh, that doesn't count as one. Dang it. Where's the last one? Here it is. Is this where I came in from? No, it would be active active if I come in from there. <laughs> Wasn't looking at chat. <laughs> it's essentially my birthday, and apparently every day is my birthday, so. That's the easiest way of explaining it. Essentially, yeah. Every day I stream is a celebration of my birthday, apparently, so yeah. Uh-oh. Don't get stuck, Barbara. Already hit, never mind. Uh, I forgot to go into one of these actually, didn't I? I don't want to accidentally miss a uh, Dendroculus or something. Can't remember if there's any down here. Hello. Is there anything even in this room? Have I already been here? And I just don't remember.
Okay, I'm guessing there's nothing in here. Or there was, and I broke it from out of bounds a long time ago. Don't remember. I already got it. See you, D. Luke. Have a good one. If I do viewer wishes, uh, I don't log into other people's accounts. If that's what you're asking. I finished Lantern, right? <clears throat> I'm probably gonna do it on my uh, other account though. Just the first quest so that I can do the mini games and get a character. I thought about doing it during the stream, because then we could <laughs> do that boat mini game. Uh, did anyone ever play that in co-op? I was curious about the co-op experience of it. Uh, no, if you click to the next page, is a single player option. It didn't seem all that exciting in single player, though. Yeah, that's the real way to play it, is just to troll people. Yeah, it does sound like it'd be one of the more difficult things in Genshin to control on mobile. I've never tried playing this game on mobile. Um, I don't have a device that's strong enough to do it, a mobile device, but... 
I've always thought that it seemed ridiculous and that it probably frustrate me to no end. Sorry, did I just get a door resurrection? It's gotta be for like right here, right? Oh my gosh. <laughs> this distraction is setting in. I'm about to jump off of here with all four of my characters to see where I respawn. <laughs> Oh, I'm so tempted to do it. <laughs> Everyone hold hands. Positions. Go, Barbara. Do it for the greater good. <laughs> Just the test. <clears throat> oh, all right. I'll test it. Why not? Nahida build? Sure. Nothing too special. I kind of stopped grinding artifacts a while ago. <laughs> it could be much better. And then she's just using this. Most of the damage that you're seeing is coming from the fact that she's C2, so I'm getting critical hits on the blooms. And she's also getting buffed from this. It's like I have a pyro character in my team, even though I don't. <clears throat> All right, everyone, close your eyes. This is going to be brutal, but it has to be done for science. <clears throat> oh, my gosh. Barbara is resurrecting them. <laughs> Got to do it five times now. Thanks, Barbara. Is this high enough? It is. Uh... Bye bye, Nilu. It's time for the curtain to fall. Uh, <laughs> I just realized. Maybe. I can never mind. The water's not deep enough. I was gonna say, I could just drown in the water, but it's not deep enough. I think it's just gonna take me in front of that door. If it takes me behind the door, I have to restart the domain now. Yeah, it took me in front of the door. Okay.
but the key. Uh, I just gotta get it again. I wasn't sure if it was the last one I needed, so I didn't want to go turn it in. Unless it broke. If that just broke the domain, then yeah. Oh, did it break the domain? It might have. <laughs> uh... Where are they again? I think it broke the domain. I don't think I cashed that one in. <clears throat> Did I get that one? Well, what am I missing then? Oh, uh, there's another path up here, isn't there? Okay, so that's where I came from. That's the one I just got. That's the door that needs opened. No, wait, that's something else. Okay, this must be from over here then. Unless this is the way I came in originally. <clears throat> here then oh okay when this okay I thought it disappeared after I died or something uh okay, obviously I'm missing something there's a door I'm not seeing that's where I came in from I think Yes, that's the start. Got that one. <clears throat> oh. Is that it? Oh, okay. <laughs> go, Barbara, go. Funny how I remember all the uh, crazy ways to break things, but I don't remember to actually do the stuff normally. Yes, I got distracted while you were gone. I threw all my characters off a cliff to test the respawn point that I got.
Yep. I got a, a door resurrection activated in a weird spot, and I thought maybe it'd take me... Let me skip part of the domain. So I threw them all off the top floor. <laughs> I had to do it five times because uh, Barbara decided to resurrect one of them. Correct. All four of my characters, yes. Thanks, kind tree. Yes. <laughs> Bazooka's history and geography lessons. <laughs> it was difficult, D Luke. It was so difficult. But in the name of science, go, Barbara, even D Luke is not exempt. Okay, got it. Just trying to memorize it so I can put it in and put it faster later on. I'm learning something too. I've never even heard of this dynasty. <laughs> go, Barbara, go. Although to be fair, I never really studied Chinese history.
Oh, this is the one with the wave rider. Okay. Pretty sure I've already been down here too. I think I definitely have because the dialogue isn't playing. Good to be passionate about something. I wonder who this gift could be from. <laughs> Personally, there's nothing I could ever do for something like history or math or anything like that. Always, always more focused on the creative stuff. I sound like an engineer? Or are you talking about someone in chat? I see everything. Uh, let the show begin. I guess I missed that. <laughs> I mean, for like uh, the attention to detail, maybe, but it doesn't come from like a background like that. Uh, there they are. My obsession with detail comes from writing. Can hit these ones in order. Oh, nope. Ah. 
Man, that's so simple. <laughs> With an archer. I kinda don't like how simple it is. It was so much more fun with Traveler Sun. Oh yes, I love Alhatham. Alhatham is honestly very much like me in a way. I just wish his playstyle wasn't uh, basically kuching. At least to me, he's basically kuching. Uh, there's quite a few people who disagree with my statement there. This dance is for you. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. 100%. There's going to be a treasure chest, but there isn't. Uh, I think, um... It depends on what kind of creativity you're talking about. I think logic lends itself very much to writing. Um, also, some forms of art. If you're doing like hyper-realistic art, then it lends itself to that too. What? Oh, wait. Oh. Pick this up. But from a writing standpoint, things need to be logical so that they resonate with people in terms of like being familiar with their everyday life if you can't capture the essence of something when you're writing then people are going to get bored of it And then you have all the craziness of uh, sentence structures and how much that can vary. You need to keep that, uh... You need to keep interchanging your sentences and stuff, your structure, so you can call that logical too. I'll protect us. I don't know, it's very hard to explain. It's one, again, I mentioned earlier, when you do something for a very long time, you just kind of do it subconsciously. You just kind of like know what the right answer is. Uh, that's not to say that's the only way people can write. There's obviously more than one way, but for me, that is what I found works best. Okay, what is next? Uh, <clears throat> Runagatha. What do I write? Uh, generally just fiction stories. Genre can be generally adventure. Adventure is fun to write. <clears throat> I might eventually uh, post some stuff. Story. You got that mini story with the Shincho thing I wrote.
Aha! <laughs> oh, there might be something over there. That's true too, yeah, keeping a uh, order of events and things like that. Continuity. That's the word. <laughs> that's uh that's a loaded question, but uh I think that's more of a question of capability. Uh, Al Haytham basically has magical powers, so <laughs> he can get away with that stuff easily. Wait, can I just teleport up here? I can. Are you, are you talking about Yelan's story quest? I just did that recently. It was about a. Uh, that was actually pretty. That was a pretty neat one. It was about some dude. Uh, basically playing the Fatui. He was basically playing everyone, but Yelan kept doubting him. He was trying to take over uh, Uncle Tianshu's position. I can't remember what his position's called, but it was something very high up in the Liyue Chising. Oh, if you're talking about the one in the Chasm, yeah, that's an Archon quest. Fun fact, when I was doing uh, the Elon's uh, character story, naturally I broke the domain. It was very easy to break. And I got to the end by breaking it. So I went to the last room basically first. And that, that stack of hay that all the bombs are under. I was just sitting in there blasting it with a blasting it with Klee, being like, "Why isn't this hay burning? Like it wouldn't burn. It would catch on fire, but then it would just not be on fire." And I sat there for like a whole minute, just throwing fireballs at it. And then when I went through the quest normally and got to the end, I was like laughing so hard. I'm like, oh. I'm like, geez. Would have been just hilarious if it just blew up and just murdered my whole party when I did that. <laughs> and that's the kind of Easter eggs they should put in. Like, knowing people can break the game, so, like, that would have been so funny. Uh, I got distracted again. Um, where am I supposed to go? Okay. Uh, I thought that was pretty interesting. Um, it was kind of weird. Uh, I guess spoilers. I'll try to keep this as spoiler free as possible. But it was kind of weird with the time shenanigans, and then they kind of just write the time shenanigans off. I understand why they did it, but. It also showed that uh, the Ermin Soul Tree is not infallible when we thought it was before. Come on. No! It 
It was cool that you could uh, give the wanderer a name. name my wanderer i thought about what name him wanderer san but uh i don't think it would have fit i named him uh zephyrus after the west god of wind the greek god figure I'd give him his wish. He wanted to be a god, and now he is, at least in name. I thought he wouldn't take his old names. I thought it prevented you from doing that. Was there some way to get around it? Oh, gotcha. Yeah. When you name the Wanderer, um, does it show up as that name when you have him in your party, or does it still say Wanderer? Yeah, but Boreas is already in the game, and I don't think you can name him that. Yeah, the wolf's already Boreas. It says what you named him. Oh, that's cool. So that's probably why that warning comes up about co-op mode then. Gotcha. <laughs> What's the point then? <laughs> Why do they have a warning if other people can't see what you named them? I am so confused. You get an item after the quest that lets you change it one time. It's uh this thing right here. Uh somewhere. <laughs> right here, this thing.
Yeah, you should be able to rename. Oh, you used it? Gotcha. Okay, let me just move away from that so I don't actually use it. <laughs> How many furnishings are there? I don't know, not too many. That's not that many. I'll use them if I have to use them, but I don't need to use them right now, so... I'm on a quest to get to inventory capacity 2000. For no reason. Actually, I'm not really, but it might end up that way because I have no need to use those things right now. <clears throat> No, my teapot is... I mean, there's some decorations in it, but it's largely undecorated. <clears throat> like, I made a temporary golden apple archipelago. It's just a little small area. But, uh... Until they add something in the serenity pot that's cool to use, then I have no reason to build it. The time trials was pretty cool, but... You can't download other people's time trials to play them, and that kind of is a little bit lame. They can make the Serenity Pot the best thing in the game by just adding Wind to Trace to it. It doesn't even have to have public matchmaking, it can be friends only, and it would still be the greatest thing ever. Treasure chest here. Nope. <laughs> wow, that was almost really bad. <laughs> oh my, what the? <laughs> what? How did it live it? How did it live that fall? I am impressed. <laughs> These are some of the best enemies in the game. Go be free. You did well. Are past them. Isn't it? Uh, they're doing one of the festivals, aren't they? I think it's the other one now. Wind Bloom? Maybe? Alright, where's this little dude? He's hiding, isn't he?
Oh yeah, there's there's that one too. Did the uh did they remove the berry spot after the event ended? I never went back to look. Or is it still there? Where you bury the wine? <laughs> it can't remove. Alright, we'll go look. Just to double check after this uh, conversation ends. <clears throat> that will be dumb if they removed it. I thought it was like right here, wasn't it? It might be on the other side. It was somewhere near the root. Okay, it looks like it's gone. That's weird. Why would they remove it? That's unfortunate. I feel like that's something they could have afforded to leave in the game. What's this about a hole in the desert? I mean, there's plenty of them. There's a really big one, uh... Right here. If I remember right. Isn't this just, like, a giant hole that leaves outside the map until you do the quest? I mean, you can't get into it, but I might be wrong. So I went below it and it looked like it had no floor. There's quite a few of those all around Sumeru. Uh, where am I supposed to go? This way? Try to glitch into Fontaine? I don't think I'll have to glitch into it. I don't think it's gonna be like Sumeru. It'd be interesting if they release in their locked nation, but I don't think they will. The only one I could see being locked for some reason is Shneznaya.
Dude, you're flying. You can't go over water? Now, explain to me why that is. What? <laughs> What's that? What? By so much as you just touch water, you're gonna freak out? I push you? Is he being moved? I can't tell. Uh, no, I don't think. I think it's just an illusion because of his propeller. I don't think I can move him. I I am trying to drown him though. This world is. I feel like I tried this on Travelers, and it didn't work. He's immune to Starfell Sword, what? Terra Smash! Okay then. Uh right, this will help me know if I can push him. Uh, he's not moving. I can't move him. And if I can't move him, I can't drown him. Bummer. What a drag. Oh, you're calling for me? What was the video about? Where's he going? What? What's he doing? <laughs> he can fearlessly do all that, but if I so much as touch water, he freaks out. Wait, he's falling. Where am I supposed to go exactly? Hold on, this might work. If he slides off of his own accord... Is gonna work. He's gonna freak out, isn't he? <laughs> Wait, where'd he go? Oh, he's back up there. What the heck? And there's an invisible object right here that I can't walk through. Hold on, give me, give me just like another minute to try this. Okay, he's immune. He's immune. That's proof. He's under the water. Alright, well. We got ourselves a, a Yenfei here. Oh god, it can swim. I mean, it technically is a plant, so... I... don't quite know if he's gonna appear right next to me. Uh... 
Okay, that worked. <clears throat> oh, was that was that you who left me that comment, D Luke? I saw a comment like that. I think I replied to it. Um I going to assume it's fake and somebody just loaded in the mod the model on a private server. But if you know the location I can maybe try to look into it. I've been far above Mondstadt. I haven't seen anything up there. It sounds like it's very likely fake. Oh. I was about to switch to an animo character. <laughs> uh, yeah, give me a second. Okay, where we where we looking? Top right. So this direction. Okay, we're at the edge of the map. <clears throat> In the ocean between Storm Bear. So right here where you start the game on the beach. Did you start the game about Exactly right here. Okay. Noted. I'm First get into position like this. very certain it's and fake, like but uh, we'll find yep. out. That's it. <gasps> Wait, is that the? That's the one that's in the barrier. I can come back for that another time. Glitch into an area you aren't supposed to. Do you see the water not moving? Uh, if you glitch into the Eternal Oasis, then you won't see the water moving. But anywhere else, the water will still move. Yes and yes. This is literally all I had planned for today, was to catch up on Genshin quests and just chill. Oh, hello. I was not paying attention. Where'd that Seelie go? Out oh, there. <laughs> Prof 
Professor Bones is on the case. <laughs> Do not disappoint, Bazooka. <laughs> Yes, it is. Most Sumeria locations are pretty simple because the map is very broken. I wonder who this gift could be from. If it turns out to be fake, that's going to be disappointing. I wish people wouldn't fake stuff like that. It's just as it's interesting if you said, Hey, I'm on a private server and I opened up the model. Here, let's take a look. It's just as interesting. You don't need to shroud it in lies. But if it's true, that's cool too. Ah, yes. Time for one of the best characters in this quest. Actually, not one of the best. The best. That's also true, Bones. With how many players this game has, it's very hard to be the, like, the first to discover something like that. Like, I take credit for discovering the teleporting thing with the chairs, but I'm sure there's probably tons of other players who found out the same thing even before me. They just didn't make it public. Or maybe they did on some forum or other website that I don't know about. And it got patched really quick, which makes me think it probably was known about on uh, Billy Billy or one of those other websites. Why am I climbing the wall when I can just go around? What am I doing? I literally could just walk around this. Oh well. There he is. The legend. I want this guy's a TCG card.
Yep. I might call it soon, though. I was hoping to finish this quest, but I still got quite a while to go. It's always a tough question when the cast is so big. Um, <clears throat> hmm. So where do you go? Oh. I mean, the the fact that I spent like six hours just making Vander viable after they totally butchered his character and stat line in the early game. Probably Vander. He's awesome. I don't know. He's just cool. <laughs> The only thing I wish is they'd let you go into the in the battle with your uh, your customized outfits on, because I just want him to be wearing his like formal butler gear with sunglasses. That'd be like the sickest thing ever. <clears throat> I barely even use the feature because you can't use it in battle. I'm like, what's well, this pointless? <laughs> you have all these customized options and you can't even use them in battle. Rosado, one of the retainers. I didn't use him too much. Vander was basically the only character I hyper focused on. The others just got lucky and got good stats when they leveled up. Hmm. For example, uh, Pandreo. He just kept getting like four or five stats every time he leveled up, so he ended up being a powerhouse. <clears throat> Do you know what Plu is from? It makes much more sense if you know what Plu is. <laughs> you don't? Uh, it's a little dog creature from a show called Rave Master. It might have shown up in Fairy Tale. I never watched Fairy Tale, but Fairy Tale was by the same um, same author, and he reused some of the characters and just renamed them. It looked like a, a tiny white dog with a round head and a, like a kind of like a unicorn ho horn for a nose. Whenever I see cute little dog creatures, this is immediately what I think of. <clears throat> All right, you can't skip this water drain. Let's just find the button. <clears throat> Actually, can try something. Let's finish this quickly. Overall, uh, I've liked Engage for what it is. It's just the the story was not... Is, I'm not done with it, but it hasn't been very good story-wise. Okay, it did not take me as far as I wanted it to. <laughs> Are you talking about the, the little medic kid? I guess you could be talking about Anna, too. Yeah, there's Anna also. Anna's really young in the game. But yeah, that's Fire Emblem for you. 
<laughs> never used to be that way, from what I understood. I never played the super old games, but uh, it just feels like with each new iteration, they make it more and more anime. Which is fine, I guess. My main character ended up so overpowered. I don't know why. Like, I know the main character is usually slightly stronger, but I'm playing on hard mode, and... Like, every time I go into an encounter with an enemy, they have a 0% chance of hitting him. Even bosses. Every boss I've, I've fought has had, like, a, like either a 0 to 5% chance of hitting him. I'm like, what is going on? It's not like I gave him any, like, status boost or anything. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Yep. <clears throat> The only boss that actually killed my main character was one of the ones that have one of those cinematic moves that can't can't miss. And then Hortensia. She had an 8% chance to hit him and a 1% crit chance, and she hit the crit chance. It was absurd. I don't know what the math for that is, but it's gotta be like a one in like 10,000 plus chance or something. <clears throat> Hello, welcome to the stream. I don't have Nilu in the team. Oh well. I guess this is gonna take a moment. Well, actually, Arabalik is gonna murder these things, isn't he? I don't hear How much damage does he do? 9,000? Nine thousand. A little bit less than I thought he did. Yeah, I forgot you. I forgot to switch your back yet. You said you're only on chapter 5, right? See, Luke, I think I remember you saying that at the beginning of the stream.
That's the problem with Vander. They start him promoted so he can't gain any experience, but his base stat line didn't seem like it's what it should be for a promoted, promoted unit. And that causes issues because by the time he starts gaining actual experience, your normal characters are actually much stronger than him. You actually have to dedicate like some skirmishes to get him back up <clears throat> to par. Uh, this doesn't seem right. <clears throat> uh, it's not underwater, so I must have just missed it somehow. Well, let's go back up. Oh, wait. Is this the one where you have to go down the log? There's like a log that leads underground. Uh, where is that? Is that it? <clears throat> oh, it is. Oh, here it is. I went through this place backwards on Traveler Son. I had broken in to some other area from outside the map and threw it backwards. <laughs> Still picking on Bazooka. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
Bye. I feel like I missed one of those plants that make the sigil things appear that you can grab onto. Oh well. Holly, are you gonna make this? You're not gonna make this. Ugh. I miss show. <laughs> yes, one of these things. I guess I didn't miss it, it was at the top. to replenish your supplies often when you're out in the wild. Ah, <laughs> uh, that's the, the frustrating kind of teacher. <laughs> the good ones are the ones who know how to fake a joke and join in on the banter. I've never gotten the whole quest locking thing to begin with. <clears throat> I 
It makes no sense. They've already shown that they can have an NPC in two places simultaneously. So it's like, why not just do it? Ooh, uh, I get tired. I wonder who this gift could be from. Random chunk of meat? Where did this come from? <laughs> All right. Is this your first Fire Emblem game, D. Luke? Or, or have you played other ones before? Played the other ones <clears throat> i don't think like if you're basing it off the other ones i don't think you're gonna see much of improvement in the story um <clears throat> without spoiling anything like what happens the tone of the story really doesn't change now that does the pacing or the uh way it's presented it's always very simple and very cookie cutter. So, basically play it to enjoy the battles, because the battles, some of the battles get really cool, but unfortunately the story does not really improve. <clears throat> Again, I haven't beaten it, but I'm pretty sure I'm like right at the end. Where is this last one? Gotta be this way. Yeah. Just follow the green arrow thing. Oh no. <clears throat> My thought process on Engage at this point is yes, they did that. And that Engage was made so that they could sell more characters in the mobile game. Yeah. Apparently, sales in the mobile game dropped off this year pretty bad, based on what people have been posting on Reddit. <clears throat> or this past year, sorry. Fire Emblem games depends on which ones. They generally run between 20 and 30 battles. However, 
some games do that, but then have like three different storylines, which makes it more like 60 to 90 battles. Or you can work in water. <laughs> well, on top of water. Uh, how many hours would it take to complete? Uh, depends on what difficulty and what game mode you choose. They have two different game modes. They have casual. And then they have classic mode. In classic mode, if one of your characters die, you can never use that character again for the rest of the game. In casual mode, after a battle ends, all your characters get revived. That can add time to it if you want to make sure your characters don't die if you're playing classic. Um, casual? Uh, usually about a single... Story. If you're playing one of the multi-story lines, like three houses, a single story can take anywhere from like 40 to 60 hours. Unless you blaze through all the dialogue and don't read anything, in which case you can knock off like 10 hours from that. Yeah, these are your standard JRPG length. Yeah, I don't either for the most part. The only reason I'm doing it here in this quest is that I've already done this entire quest on another account. <clears throat> but yeah, I don't skip it either while I'm generally while I'm playing games. games like that story is more than half the game it's kind of a miss the point if you just skip through it Let me refresh my local recording. Boy, is that file gonna kill my hard drive. It's probably like 30 gigs. Bones, thanks for the birthday wish. <laughs> Quick, let's find shelter. Our mushrooms will start growing on our heads. I agree. Skipping the story in Genshin is kind of... I mean, to each of their own, of course, but uh, this is definitely one of the better written games. They've had, uh, 
they've had their weird spots, like uh, the Inazuma Archon Quest was kind of rushed. And the first Archon Quest, the Monset one, kind of is weird. But for the most part, their writing is very solid. Especially when it comes to their character-specific writing. And you can see it in the fact that they supplement the game with like those short trailers on a YouTube channel. Like the one they just released of Shao. And even just their character trailers, the ones that, um... Also the ones that, uh, d -d 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 what's his name? Why well, can't I think of his name? That Conria dude. I can't think of his name. He always voices them. Dane's Leap, Dane's Leap. Uh, some of the presentation in the Mostat quest, if you played through it again since you started the game, you can see how it's weird compared to how they present some other stuff. Uh, what am I looking for? I'm not saying it's bad, I'm saying some of the presentation of it's weird compared to stuff that happens further down the line. Even stuff that happens in Lee away. Uh, like an example would be uh, when Venti retells the story to D. Luke. That that spot in specific has always stood out to me. It's really weird. It's just a bunch of random camera, choppy camera switches, with very fast text. <clears throat> I miss anything back here now. Oh, this. Hey, let's dance. Yeah, steamrolling all the enemies can be boring sometimes. <laughs> like that. I have a lot of fun with the combat and Traveler Sound now, I'll tell you that much. When you get to see what these enemies can actually do, instead of just deleting them in like 3 seconds. Yeah, for sure. Sumeru's story was easily the best out of all of them so far. Leeway's was really good too, just for the fact of like everything Sean Lee did behind the scenes. Go, Barbara, go! Okay, I must have <clears throat> jumped past that. It was probably in the, the pit when I was falling. Oh yeah, it's definitely a, a fun take on the game. <laughs> I would even go as far as to say as to purposely keep yourself slightly weaker than you should be. Just so that the enemies are more challenging. Because even to this day, Traveler San, uh... Let's see, I don't remember right off the top of my head, but artifact-wise, he's got a maxed flower, he's got a maxed feather. This thing, uh, what is it, the sands, I think is level 0. This is like level 4, and I think this is like level 6 or 12, maybe like 8. I never maxed out the other things. Protect 
down here. Yeah, he was level 7 for the longest time. Right now he's level 23. You can go up to level 40, though. Oh, welcome back, Nilu. Yep. My new longest stream. This was my plan all for today. This is all I had planned. Okay, so I can't break that yet. Got it. Unless I can just go around it. Yo! <laughs> There's always a hole! There's always a hole! <laughs> Wait, what's even back here? Is this like, does this like make a treasure chest up here or something? There's nothing back here. And that looks like outside the map. Yeah, this must make a treasure chest up here. It's not already spawned in there. Okay, can I get out of here or am I stuck? I might be stuck. Oh, wait. I can grab this. They ain't looking good. I might have to map out. Okay, I just map out. It's fine. I want to get that uh, Dendroculus that was in the, the pit that I missed anyways. <clears throat> Did Abyss reset? Uh, it did. Okay. Another thing to add to the list. Did they change the enemies in the abyss, or is it still the Golden Wolf Lord and stuff? <laughs> oh, they did change it? Okay. Maybe something I can run through here in a moment. Change of pace. <clears throat> oh. That sounds rough. Wait. There we go. Did 
think it'll be the first time, if I do it, it'll be like the first time I've ever done Abyss on my main account. Oh wait, no, I did level 1s. I did the uh, level 1 stream with uh, Kokomi and stuff. What was it, Floor 9 of the Abyss with level 1 characters? You can make this. Yeah. Wait. What? I'm sorry. I went behind there, and there was. Don't touch me. I am so confused. There was a wall. Did the wall get deleted when I broke that? Oh well. I'm so confused. <laughs> yeah, there had to have been a wall back there that got deleted. I'll have to drop down here on another account and just take a quick look or something. Let the show begin. <laughs> you play Genji for six hours. <laughs> Let's change tactics. Go, Barbara, go! Oh, I see everything. I mean, to be fair, it is slightly different when you're streaming and you have the clock to. <laughs> Although I have spent a whole entire day testing some stuff before. That was a lot of fun. It just depends on what you're doing, I guess. If what you're doing interests you. Some people do those 24-hour streams of certain games. I don't know how they do that. It just seems unhealthy. took like all together with like the planning of the routes and stuff and figuring out exactly what I had to do probably like four hours I may or may not stream Resident Evil 4. We'll see. It's a definitely a different uh, vibe than my channel normally does, so I haven't decided if I'm going to do it yet. Sandstorm, sandstorm barrier? Do you mean the ba -ba -ba -ha? this mountain? This thing right here? So it's weird. Um, you probably could break through it. It'd be very difficult. However, you can easily go underneath it. 
And if you just go underneath it, you can get, you know, obviously anything that's below it. It's really weird, though, because unlike most places, um, the barrier is a solid object that it's it's covered on all sides. Some areas, for example, Dragon Spine, this nice little hole in the map, um, the teleport barrier around the top of here does not go underneath the map. So if you go up through the mountain, you can get up there before the quests are done. The barrier here actually has a floor to it underneath the map. So you can still go underneath it and get below it, but if you try climbing back up into it, you just get blasted off into oblivion. Pretty funny. <clears throat> But yes, I have been underneath the map into a bunch of places underneath there. I was in the Eternal Oasis like five minutes after maintenance ended for this patch. <clears throat> Actually, um, I'm curious. For people who have completed the, uh, new, the new quest, the one with Jet, does that make the uh, Sandstorm go away and does that take away that barrier? I'm under the impression it does, but does anyone know if it takes away that? It doesn't. Wait, y yes and no? Oh, okay, maybe I should make a video on it then. I assumed it just made it... You just go, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's why, all right. Makes sense, now. Yeah. Like I was saying earlier, for people who are here like a while ago in the stream, I was saying it looks like when you go underneath there and look up, it looks like there's no floor. As if the sandstorm area just leads into a hole in the map that just leads into the abyss. That might be why it looks like that, because they never intended you to get through it. So they just didn't complete the map underneath it. It leads to the Eternal Oasis, correct? When you go through the quest normally. Okay, that's what I thought it led to. Okay, yeah, maybe I can try to go looking around more near the surface of the sandstorm. I couldn't find a way up, so I got to, like, this weird centerpiece. It's really weird, because it's one of those, um... It's like a chunk of land, free-floating standing land with nothing on it. But if you walk too far in, like, two or three certain directions, the land disappears from underneath your feet, and you just fall. And there didn't seem to be a way up. I found a wall I could climb to try to get up to, like, the surface beneath, underneath the barrier. But well, that's why I noticed the barrier had a floor and it just flung me off into the abyss. So I'm like, well, okay. <laughs> but I might not be able to get inside of that area, but I might be able to like look around and just showcase what it actually looks like beneath there. I did. I have C1 Xiao, and I got a C6 Yao Yao out of the bargain. I am very happy. C1 Xiao gives you one more use of his skill. So he has three instead of two. Okay, so... That's it for this, I think, right? Yeah, we're on the final part. <clears throat> uh... 
a closer look at the ruins on top of Dragon Spine? What do you mean? You remember where the, the pillar is? Or the nail? Do you mean, do you mean the, uh, the, the vault that has, uh, the sword in it? Cause there's like ruins all over the place on Dragon Spine. I did a, I did a video on Dragon Spine lore a long time ago if you haven't seen it. There was one about Albedo and then there was one specifically about Dragon Spine and Duren. Very top of Dragon Spine. I mean, well, I'm heading over here anyways to do Abyss. So, oh, I passed. No, I didn't. Okay, so which ones are you talking about? Are you talking about just these generic ruins? I, mean, I guess they're not generic. They're the old city that got destroyed. Really hear the snow falling? Add in the swirling snowflakes. And it feels like the spirit of nature is dancing. <clears throat> Alright, hold on. Let me get away from this thing that's shooting at me. Okay. So... Like, way up there? Uh... Let me make this easy on myself. You called? There's a barrier that stops you? What are you talking about? <clears throat> the barrier Once gets dispelled, doesn't enough, it? We can eat it. There's originally a barrier if you get up here before doing the quest. Okay, so are you talking about those ruins over there? Or are you talking about the floating ruins around the nail? What exactly are you talking about? <clears throat> I don't know what you're talking about then. <laughs> There's ruins all over this place and they're just all part of the old civilization that got destroyed. <clears throat> Chow's invincible. That Barbara. Barbara can't die up here. So yeah, I don't know exactly what you're talking about. No, I'm not. Yeah, I don't know what you mean. All I know is that this stuff was just from the old city that got destroyed oh, when, uh... Mr. Nail up there got dropped on it. And probably other things dropped on it, too. Okay, it is up this time, I guess. I'm getting tired, but yeah, there was a, there was a barrier, um... If you try to go to the top of the mountain before doing the quest, you get teleported. Paimon starts complaining that it's too cold. 
and that you should find a different way up, and then they just teleport you to the Statue of the Seven. Just like on Surumi Island. It doesn't matter where you encounter the barrier. You could be clear on the other side of the mountain, and it still takes you to the Statue of the Seven. But, that barrier does not have a floor, so if you're inside the mountain itself, and you climb up from there, you can get up there. Correct, that is dispelled with the bear, the, uh, the nail. So after you collect all three of those, uh, whatever those things are called, I can't remember, that energy, there's one in the tree, the there's one underneath the around. mountain, How absurd. and there's one somewhere else. <laughs> Uh, let's go ahead. I should probably make sure my equipment's fine. Good. Hi. Looks good. Not using you. Oh, that's wrong. <laughs> Uh, wait. Er, that's not what's this. That's what's this. That looks right. Although, are you missing an artifact? Hmm, I guess not. Okay. Not using you. Nope, nope, you're fine. Nope. How about you? You're fine. And then Sucrose doesn't need anything because she's just a battery for show. I think we're good. Target defense. I'll try Yao Yao instead of Pale. Uh, you crows. Cool. I'm not sure. <clears throat> the second team is interesting. The second team is just Shao killing everything. And Klee. <clears throat> That's close enough. A new punching bag. Leave it all to me. And then he can do this. So. Evil conquering. Tear. Worthless. Tear. Worthless new punishment. Depending on what floor 12 is, it might take two runs. If I decide to do floor 12. Yeah. 
<laughs> That's how YouTube works. <clears throat> It's insane that the shield can block Bloom sometimes, but it can't block the bubble. Promotion he's playing. I agree, pull for Shadow, he's awesome. I'm just going to assume the same team order will be effective. Uh, yeah, I think I'll probably 36 it. I mean, I don't really know what's... Someone said Magu Kanki is on floor 12. That might prove a problem, but we'll see. I actually had no issue with the Golden Wolf Lord. That was fine with me. Uh... Boy, 
I love that Klee can just infinitely juggle enemies. It's so amazing. <laughs> No matter how big they are, they can get juggled by clay. Who's the best pyromaniac then? <laughs> uh, I think Klee's more of a pyromaniac than uh, Yo and Mia. Maybe not in terms of damage, but just in terms of uh, character personality. Time to go to work. Position. I see everything. Let the show begin. Uh, depending on which ones you're talking about, those ones where people go for 24 hours, I don't think I could ever do that. I think that's a little bit unhealthy. But some people have the stamina for it. Oh, what, what am I doing? Okay, uh... Oh my gosh. Nahida is gonna murder things. Does this Dendro damage bonus also apply to... Uh... Bloom damage? Because if it does, oh my gosh. I'm going to end up destroying the, the pillar by accident. Or the obelisk. Oh, 
This is probably gonna be a disaster. I'm gonna end up destroying it <laughs> myself. <laughs> That's all right. Shadow and Cleave will just have to pick up the slack. Let's end this now. This dance is for you. Eighteen percent damage, seventeen percent, something like that. What is it? Uh, is it machines? Oh, it's not machines. Nope. Probably a lot of second, right? Worthless. Worthless. Yeah. Okay, these guys usually stay on you, so this shouldn't be too bad. Steadiest. They almost- I don't think these guys can target the obelisk, honestly. I've never seen them do it. Get knocked down. There you go. Easy. <laughs> I appreciate the dedication, I Luke. <laughs> I do hope you love to get like food and stuff in between. <laughs> I hate when they do this. It's probably two of these guys, and the other one won't show up until you defeat the other one. Oh, uh, that's the worst. Give me on both at the same time. the right element for this. fight these things so uh leave it all to me as a dutiful maid would stand clear absorption test gonna do what I normally do and just hit it till it goes down Hopefully I have enough time. I think I have some high resistance, I'll tell you that. I must leave no stone on oh, give me clay.
Oh wait, this isn't a four. This isn't a seven minute floor. Never mind. I bet it was seven. Or you did get it before seven minutes. I guess I had a lot more leeway than I was thinking. <clears throat> Okay, so this must be the post I saw on Twitter earlier. Someone was complaining that there's two of the scorpions in the abyss. That must be what this was about. I see everything. Let the show begin. Let's get down to business. Let me try Everyone hold hands. Temple of wisdom. Friends with the wings. The very good you Stay put. Yeah. Bad hurt. Real bad. Oh, this may Let's stay. Yeah. You win. Oh, hello. Okay, so this is a seven minute one. Uh. Oh man, how do I fight this guy again? I fought this thing like one time. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Steady as That's probably not good to leave alive. Oh, there we go. Uh, there is something I recognize. Okay, not so bad. Hold on, before I do this, I should actually look to see what they are. Because this is where it actually matters. Okay, machines and a bunch of flowers and mages. I think I'm about to do two runs here. Uh, I want to do Nilu second, but I feel like the Abyss, the Cryo Abyss Mage is going to be a problem, but we'll give it a run. See yeah, Ernest. Thanks for joining in. Okay, let's see how this goes. Someone I must Are they seriously gonna make these things appear one at a time? Evil conquering, worthless, useless. Worthless. There's no way. <laughs> That's so dumb. Leave it all to me. Yeah, there's no way it's happening. 
I probably won't be able to 36 to this one. When they appear one at a time like this, it's so dumb. I mean, if this is the only chamber like this, I can always try to get with Milu first. This is not happening. Look at this team. Especially since every time I use Shao's burst, it gets its armor. So it's taking a third of the damage. Alright. This is officially the stupidest floor of the abyss I have ever seen. They could have did two and two. I must leave no stone. Dumpy Dumpy, animal test 6308. Jeez. Yeah, I'm gonna have to redo this part, I think. Um... With all my strength. Make yourself a move. Take. And let the show begin. There's no way. Ah, don't be scared. <laughs> uh, I see Especially when they're gonna bury and become invincible for a minute. All right, yeah, we'll try it again with the uh, shaft. This dance is for you. Whirl would also do really well right here. And then we just tear through these abyss mages. Hopefully it's only that floor that's silly like that. Oh, this is the scorpions, isn't it? Let's get down to business. Oh, maybe not. Okay, yeah, this is it, um, uh, this will be interesting. I have no idea how to fight these things. 
There's a way to put him into a weakened state, isn't there? Ow. Yikes. Steady as stone. Okay, so there is. I have and my secret has no artifacts. Okay, this one's gonna take a bit. No easy 36 star life last time. Leave it all to me. Time to clean up. Absorption test. There we go. Oh wait, that was first half. Never mind, I lied. <laughs> This was not happening in 20 seconds anyway. I see everything. I'm surprised they all stayed right on top of me. Usually they're dashing all over the place and using like their sword beams and separating. I think I got lucky right there. Ah, uh, it's this lovely thing. I must leave no stone unturned, as a good knight should. The reactions for it. Should be okay. Steady as stone. Someone needs assistance. There's like a tempo you can get him with this guy. I 
must leave no useless lament for worthless shut it tear worthless as a dutiful maid would leave it all to me Gotta be close. Animal test 6308. Stand clear. Useless. Boring. Disappear. Worthless. Oh, they don't die here. I think I'm okay. Okay. Oh my god, why do I keep thinking that's the second half? Uh, of course this isn't okay. I don't know why I keep thinking that. I actually went through all the first ones with Shao being the second team. Ideal. I'm 33 star, I think, right? Although maybe that's the place to stop for this one. Uh, cause this one's dumb. But I am curious. I'm gonna try this first. I'm gonna try re reversing the team order and see what happens. So only problem with this is Nilu struggles to defeat that uh that robot boss. It takes longer to knock it out of its invis invisibility. Um, hold on. If it doesn't work, I'm not too beat up over it. What, 50 Primo Gems? took longer than I wanted it to. Animal hypostasis emulation. Animal. Oh. I, I 
sleep. Useless. Lament. Worthless. Tear. 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 Steady as stone. Absorption test. Disappear. Worthless. Tear. Worthless. Tear. Worthless. Tear. Worthless. Useless. Leave it all to me. Time to clean up. Time to go to work. Animal test 6308. Enhanced animal module 75. Evil conquering. Tear. Worthless. No. Pretty close. Now you're testing my patience. Boring. Disappear. Worthless. I should have it. Okay. Oh wow, yeah. That's an enemy I forgot about. Oh, thank you, Chaos, for the donation. I wasn't looking at chat for a moment. Uh, oh, I forgot about this. This might not be good. Oh, I did not mean to use that. Oh, he's gonna die. Thank you, Noel Shield. I don't know if you're gonna hold up though. Steady as stone, as a good knight should. Animal test 6308. Disappear. Tear. I might use this again. Worthless. Oh, well. Tear. Ah, dang it. I must leave no stone unturned. Well, that makes this impossible now. Uh, I guess I should just retry. I remember to have my start button remap. I can't. Everyone just needs to get KO'd.
The one thing I wish about Abyss is that you could save your pride and progress between floors or between chambers. So I don't have to redo Let's this part. Everyone hold hands. Like give us the option to redo the whole floor if we want, but and green glitter and what is going on? I don't even know. <laughs> All I know is that they're almost dead. Oh my god. The bloom team for you, everyone. Time's not so great this time. And they are not bunched up. I must leave no stone unturned. Now this ain't happening. I had much better time last time. Oh well, I think I'm just not gonna keep trying. Impossible. I can do it some other time. Get kind of tired. I wanna go home now. <sighs> Yeah, the biggest issue here, rather than them being tanky, is this permanent up. cryo. Because it makes it. your character attack like 40% slower. So if Shao is losing like 4 or 5 plunge attacks, he would have otherwise. That makes the clock tick down a lot. But I'll try that another time. Uh, I think I will call it there. Because, yeah. That was a very long stream. <laughs> Wait two more minutes. Is it already eight hours? According to my phone, it's been eight hours, but okay, we can chill for two more minutes and just chat. The 
damned will sooner die again than lay a hand on me. Going good. I have to go get a late dinner. Hopefully, uh... <laughs> I don't think I saw it earlier, but I'm hoping the new Trigun episode's out. I tried watching it this morning, but it wasn't on Crunchyroll. So dinner, Trigun, and... I don't know. Maybe finish up a video. I did want to put out one either tomorrow or Monday. When do I plan on having another stream? Uh, good question. Those memories. <laughs> Maybe see so the sun. <laughs> it's nighttime here, so I can see its reflection on the moon, if that counts. I love Trigun, but then I've always loved uh, that Western style anime take. I'm a big fan of the Wild Arm series. And the original Trigon was really good, and this, uh, this new remake is pretty good, too. <clears throat> Reduced to just standing around. How absurd. I don't know what my next stream will be, though. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like I should stream more often, and other times I'm like, eh. <laughs> Do I have anything interesting to show off? Some kind of cool game break? <laughs> Klee saw the sun the other day. I released a short video about going to the sun as Klee. That was funny. Right now, I have no place to do a face reveal. I am an enigma. You get my voice. <laughs> I'll lead the way. Does uh does the bunny sink like a rock, or does the bunny float? Probably sinks. The bunny sinks. Which means... Yao Yao can activate underwater dendro monuments. Just like Klee can for pyro ones. Cool. I am streaming still, but the stream is about to end. In like a minute or two. Thank you for the sub. A <laughs> Discord server, yeah. Oh, I'm lazy. <laughs> I've been like going back and forth on whether I should make one. And then someone's like, it'd be a cool 100,000 sub thing. And I'm like, it would be. And it also gives me an excuse to put it off for longer. <laughs> I don't know. What the? Hold up. What was that? Does the lag at the end of her skill make her sink? Okay, hold on. I have something I need to test now. Uh, where is there deep water near an edge? 
uh here <laughs> make 5000 accounts to so <laughs> Okay, not far enough. Hold on. He's not stepping off the platform. You're wondering why I'm testing. It looked like when she finishes throwing the bunny, there's a lag to where nothing can interact with her. And I'm wondering if I can use that to make her sink to the bottom of water. To the bottom of water while she's in that lag. I don't think I'm going to find anything suitable, though. I just got caught in a little... Spot right there. Stay put. Hmm. Yes, I got distracted again. Because <clears throat> I saw a possible new cool mechanic. <clears throat> I just don't know. Where there'd be a suitable surface of water. I thought right here would be perfect. What is she even standing on? either usually when you run out of stand stamina if you're on the edge of a of a platform you'll slide off of it okay i don't know where there's a suitable area to test this oh wait oh my gosh this might be perfect of course it isn't sure if she moves forward with her skill Don't be scared. this is the first time i've seen some kind of lag like this though at the end of a action i'll try it one more time and i'm almost, i'm also going to test if i can dash cancel it i think i can right Okay, it's not working. Possible false alarm, possible not right uh, variables in play. Don't be scared. You can sort of dash cancel it. There's a little bit of lag before you can, but not like we were seeing when she slid down the rubble earlier. Anyways, I am ending it there. Thank you all for joining in. It's been a very long stream. 
Mm. Oh, I'm I'm obsessed with Wind Trace, that's why. I better be in the Tavat Times whenever they do that again. Dude played like 400 games of Wind Trace. <laughs> Have a good day, night. I'll catch you next time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have it marked on the map. Yeah, I'll go take a look. Maybe tomorrow or something. Oh, what's happening over there? Can we take a sneaky peek? Huh? Can we? Till next time.